Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. My Sharingan has too many functions. Chapter 81 Blood red energy appeared quickly and condensed into bones, skeleton, and muscles around Zhao Fan. Almost in the blink of an eye, a half length humanoid made of red energy appeared in front of the three monsters. The powerful energy reaction directly caused the entire secret realm to start to tremble slightly. This made the red armor that appeared a little disappear again. Zhao Fan squinted his eyes feeling the feeling coming from the secret realm just now. The moment Suzano's first form was completed, Zhao Fan felt bound, and after the second form appeared, Zhao Fan felt even more strongly rejected by the secret realm. Originally, Zhao Fan thought about showing the state of the Wedingu armor directly, but he didn't expect that the secret realm began to be unable to withstand it and was about to crack. But looking at Kazaru, they didn't seem to notice anything. Zhao Fan had no choice but to keep Suzano in his second form. Fortunately, this form can already use the eight-foot mirror. Shui Mosquito and Ying San saw the changes in Zhao Fan, the red energy and shield, but they did not change their attack methods. Ding ding ding, Takazo's energy feathers were directly ejected the moment they came into contact with Suzano. When the blood mosquito saw the shield, he was still a little disdainful. You must know that its mouthparts can even affect space. How can a shield made of mere energy stop it? However, when the blood mosquito and two other mosquitoes made of energy collided with the eight-foot mirror, the blood mosquito instantly understood that he was overthinking. The strongest mouthpart, the strongest attack, in front of this human energy shield, the blood mosquito felt pain for the first time. Its mouthparts are like a needle that cannot penetrate Jalfon Suzano's eight-foot mirror. Even the entire mouthpart was broken into several sections due to excessive force. The other two blood mosquito clones also disappeared. How can it be so strong? Seeing such a result, Ying, San and Huang Yuan were all shocked, and the blood mosquitoes were so dizzy that they were flying up and down. However, Zhao Fan did not hesitate. The red Suzano directly stretched out his right hand and grabbed the blood mosquito. The overall look is like a normal person catching an extra-large mosquito. Blood mosquito. Be careful, Ying San and Kazaru shouted loudly, and then the energy in Ying San's body surged rapidly, and a strong wind immediately blew away the blood mosquitoes that could not find their direction. And Kazaru was also furious. He found that the human in front of him was really completely different from the human he met before. It was no longer something that the three monsters could deal with. Ying San. Contact them. Unless this human being dies, our mission will definitely fail. Kazaru shouted to Takashi, while lying on the ground, dark yellow energy quickly poured into the earth. Here, Zhao Fan was not in a hurry after seeing the blood mosquitoes being blown away. Sharingan looked at Kazaru Yingsen. What they just spoke was the language of monsters, and Zhao Fan didn't understand either. To him, it sounded like a whine, but Zhao Fan could tell something through observation. As Kazaru finished speaking, Zhao Fan saw a flash of shock in Ying San's little eyes, and then a special energy appeared in its mouth and disappeared. Zhao Fan frowned, glanced at Huang Yuan lying on the ground next to him, ignored Huang Yuan's previous control, and left the place on his toes. As Zhao Fan just left, several earth thorns quickly appeared on the ground where he was standing. If Zhao Fan had not left in time, not to mention what would have happened to little Zhao Fan, Bao Zhu would definitely be indispensable. Of course, since he can already use the loading ability at the same time, he can also use blur to avoid it. However, the ground thorn will not disappear for a short time after it appears, and will also affect Zhao Fan's next attack. Of course, Zhao Fan would not admit it. Even if he knew it would not hurt him, he would not stand there and be punished virtually. Seeing Zhao Fan move to avoid, Kazaru's eyes suddenly lit up and he immediately said to the Shui Mosquito who had just woken up. Humans seem to be unable to use space abilities. And there is no defense under his feet. The three monsters suddenly became excited. They were originally afraid of not being able to find Zhao Fan's weakness, but now Zhao Fan's reaction gave them a glimmer of hope. However, after the excitement, Ying San was a little dumbfounded. With its wind energy, if it was okay for group attacks, it would be completely inappropriate if it was allowed to attack from under the opponent's feet. It's okay, Ying San, please use up more of this human's energy. I don't believe how long he can last at the gold level. I'm here to create opportunities for you. 
Kazaru also realized Takashi's powerlessness in this situation and spoke directly. Then it stared closely at Zhao Fan's every move. It didn't want to be hit by Zhao Fan's weird space ability again. The blood mosquito might not be able to save it. Dark yellow energy surged again, and the ground changed again. The blood mosquitoes were also surging with bloody energy, sticking directly to the ground and spreading towards Zhao Fan's feet. This is its unique ability. As long as its energy comes into contact with Zhao Fan, the blood in Zhao Fan will be absorbed by it. Zhao Fan's eyes passed over Kazaru Yingsen and landed on Shui Mosquito. If any of the three monsters can pose a threat to Zhao Fan, it is only this big mosquito. The blood red energy always gave Zhao Fan a feeling of blood leaving his body. As expected of a blood sucking mosquito, Zhao Fan didn't care that they noticed the weakness of the second form Suzano so quickly, but he just had a deeper understanding of the intelligence of the monster beasts. This time, there were no earth thorns or anything like that on the ground under Zhao Fan's feet. Instead, several stone pillars appeared directly and quickly lifted Zhao Fan up. He directly pushed Zhao Fan to a height of nearly 10 meters before stopping. Looking at the energy in Kazaru's body, it also completely weakened at this time. Obviously this move is too expensive for it. Good opportunity. Blood Mosquito Eagle San didn't expect Kazaru to have such a move, and when he saw the area below Zhao Fan Suzano immediately became empty. Ying San quickly gathered countless wind needles and attacked Zhao Fan from below. The Blood Mosquito also spread rapidly with bloody energy amidst the buzzing sound, and was about to touch the soles of Zhao Fan's feet. Let's start with you. Zhao Fan had already guessed that these three monsters might have called for reinforcements. After all, he also got general information from the gophers. Since there are still monsters coming, he is not in a hurry. It will be troublesome if he has to look for them if they are all scared away. But you can't just be passively beaten all the time. Zhao Fan moved his steps, took a step forward and jumped down from the stone pillar. At the same time, Suzano directly blocked his shield in front of the attacks of Takazo and Blood Mosquito. Seeing Zhao Fan defending against their attacks again and about to return to the ground. Kazaru, who was still a little weak, opened his mouth suddenly, revealing the fangs inside. Human, you can't escape. Several roots quickly appeared where Zhao Fan was about to land and stabbed out. It can be said that Kazaru's chance to catch this attack was very good. Zhao Fan was in midair, and his shield was still defending against the attack of the Eagle Three Blood Mosquitoes. With no place to borrow strength, he naturally couldn't dodge its ground stab attack. Kazaru just watched as Zhao Fan landed heavily on the ground thorn, and blood spattered in an instant. Success! Kazaru's eyes shone with excitement, and his only arm hammered his chest. Kazaru, what are you doing? Before Kazaru could be happy for long, the frightened and angry voices of Ying San and Shui Mosquito suddenly came over. Ah, the summoned Kazaru looked at Ying San and Shui Mosquito with a puzzled look on his face. Isn't this human already dead? Why are they still like this? Kazaru, such a great opportunity, how could you? Shui Mosquito was furious. When he saw his attack being blocked, his heart suddenly sank. Then he saw Kazaru's ground thorn and Zhao Fan falling in midair. I felt happy again. Who would have thought that Kazaru would directly place the ground thorn crookedly? It was placed crookedly. The blood mosquito watched helplessly as Kazaru's ground thorn scraped against Zhao Fan's feet and stuck in the air, while Zhao Fan, a human, returned to the ground unscathed. Shui Mosquito was suddenly angry and just wanted to scold her. Ying San was also so angry that his green hair was trembling. Their attack failed again. Isn't that human dead? I saw him being stabbed by my ground thorns. Why isn't he dead? Kazaru looked at Shui Mosquito and Ying San with a confused expression, then looked at Zhao Fan's body in confusion. But this time, Kazaru saw Zhao Fan standing next to his ground thorn intact. Impossible. No, human, you can actually use mirrors. Kazaru, who likes to use his brain, reacted quickly, and became so angry that he roared at Zhao Fan. We both have the talisman of Lord Jealous Demon, how could there be an illusion that could affect me? At this time, Huang Yuan's murderous intention towards Zhao Fan became more and more obvious. It has already figured it out at this time. Shui Mosquito, Ying San, and I were all affected by this human illusion even though I was protected by Lord Jealous Demon's talisman. 
Obviously, this is the control that the insect mother refers to. So, no matter what, we cannot let this human being get out alive. Kazaru said quickly, but the blood mosquito Yingsen's reaction was not as good as Kazaru's. They were originally a little frightened and angry at Kazaru, but they understood after hearing Kazaru's words. Everyone stared at Zhao Fan's figure, and at the same time all the energy burst out from his body. They already know the seriousness of the problem. Have you decided to fight for it? Zhao Fan said calmly, and then looked at Kazaru. As a monster, your mind is a little too smart. As he said that, Zhao Fan looked at Shui Mosquito, his right eye slightly enlarging. Amatellus. Black flames quickly appeared on the blood mosquitoes, and Kazaru and Takashi suddenly took action when they heard the humans talking in front of them. And they didn't see any trace of their hands at all. When they saw the black flames on the blood mosquitoes, they were immediately shocked. Black flame. The blood mosquito burned by the black flames was in even more pain, and the bloody energy poured out crazily, trying to extinguish the flames. However, it was of no use. In this way, the blood mosquito was burned to ashes while screaming in pain. But Kazaru and Takashi, who were watching this scene helplessly and didn't even dare to get close, had only one word in their minds. Escape. The human being in front of me is simply not human. Regardless of whether it is the abilities or supernatural powers of monsters and humans, they are all developing in one direction, and at most they can be used in different ways. Overall the attributes shouldn't change much. However, all of this failed on this human being. From the space ability, to the huge humanoid energy and shield, and the black flame. They all appeared on one person. It's completely impossible to fight. How to kill. The black flames are so terrifying. The blood mosquitoes didn't even survive for half a minute. Kazaru and Ying San looked at Zhao Fan with slight trembling, fearing that Zhao Fan would use the black flame on themselves. Takashi, hurry up, take me away. Kazaru uttered such a sentence from the gap between his teeth, and Ying San also suddenly stirred up and wanted to fly. You're here now, don't leave. Zhao Fan covered his eyes at this time and greeted Kazaru Takazo cordially. Susanna grabbed Takashi at will. At this moment, the ground beneath Zhao Fan's feet shattered, and a black shadow quickly wrapped around Zhao Fan. In the flash of lightning, the black shadow bit directly at Zhao Fan's exposed neck. Puff. Susan's movements suddenly stopped, and this change also made Takasan Kazaru realize that something was wrong, and he quickly looked at Zhao Fan's position. Orochi. Well done. Seeing the big snake entangled and biting the human's neck, Kazaru and Takashi felt relieved and shouted happily to the big snake. They know that the power of the snake's poison is unmatched by other monsters. Even if a human with gold level strength encounters a little venom, he will lose his combat effectiveness, let alone be directly bitten. And judging from the humanoid energy that is no longer moving, it is obvious that this human being has been successfully controlled by the big snake. Orochi, when did you come here? Where are the other monsters? Kazaru felt as if he had narrowly escaped death and quickly asked the big snake. But the big snake didn't answer it, and a trace of doubt flashed in the snake's eyes. It arrived when Kazaru and Blood Mosquito came together. It's just that it has been hiding secretly, observing the battle between the yellow apes and humans. Although he was shocked by Zhao Fan's ability, the snake did not reveal his murderous intention. It wasn't until it saw Zhao Fan covering his eyes after releasing the black flames that the snake felt that the opportunity had come. Taking advantage of this opportunity, he directly attacked Zhao Fan and successfully injected the venom into it. However, at this time, the big snake felt something was wrong with its taste, and there was no feeling of biting the flesh. Just when it had this thought, it felt the human being it had bitten expand rapidly. Boom! A strong explosion suddenly exploded from the mouth of the big snake, and the big snake directly hit the inner wall of Susano before it could fly out. The big snake's mouth split open due to the sudden explosion. At the same time, many wounds appeared on Zhao Fan's body, and a large piece of snake skin disappeared. There are still traces of charring and burning on it. Chirp. Help. At this time, the three eagles who were originally stunned by this sudden change felt a red shadow flash, and the entire eagle body suddenly tightened. By the time it reacted, it was already in Susano's hand. This caused it to start struggling crazily, and at the same time, it kept shouting for help. What kind of ability is this? Kazaru's eyes were splitting, 
and his mood was about to collapse as he went up and down again and again. He was happy to see the big snake's sneak attack succeed. I saw the human being exploded directly, the big snake was directly injured, and Takashi was caught by the humanoid energy again. Kazaru felt like he was going crazy and pulled the hair on his head frantically. Why is this human being so full of weird abilities? This is unreasonable, let me see, well, I found it. Zhao Fan's voice sounded from behind Huang Yuan. Huang Yuan's body stiffened suddenly, and the instinct of the monster kept telling it to run quickly. But it understands that the current situation is no longer within its control. Huang Yuan did not dare to move, and just stood there, letting Zhao Fan reach out and take away a small stone from the hair on its shoulder. It has personally experienced the terrifying power of Zhao Fan. At such a distance, it does not dare to make any rash move for fear of causing Zhao Fan's dissatisfaction. It has lost one arm and can no longer withstand Zhao Fan's power. It's over. Huang Yuan felt that after Zhao Fan took away the stone, he suddenly felt darkness in front of him. Kazaru, you are the smartest among these monsters. Tell me, is this the only thing that can prevent you from being affected by illusions? Zhao Fan threw the stone he found from Kazaru up and down. It is very similar to the stone I got from the insect mother before. The stones are also covered with strange patterns. Human, human, what on earth do you want to do? Kazaru swallowed his saliva in fear. He didn't look back, and he didn't dare to look back. Instead, from his angle, he saw Takashi being killed by the energy humanoid like it was crushing a chicken. As for the big snake, it lay there motionless, seeming to have fainted from pain. Hey! Why don't you answer the question well? Zhao Fan walked directly in front of Kazaru, and Sharingan changed quickly. This time, Zhao Fan's Genjutsu no longer felt blocked, and he successfully controlled Kazaru. Sure enough, it's a problem with this thing. Zhao Fan touched the stone in his hand, and he suddenly became very interested in the so-called jealous demon. Although his strength is not yet strong, Zhao Fan doesn't feel that he can't reach that level. After successfully controlling Kazaru, he naturally wanted to obtain information. Just when Zhao Fan controlled Kazaru and checked his memory, the body of the motionless snake inside the Suzano trembled slightly, and then the black shadow below slowly spread. Then the whole big snake submerged into the black shadow and disappeared. This human being is really terrifying. He actually has the ability to control monsters. Such thoughts flashed through the big snake's mind. Hidden in the darkness, it quickly swam in one direction. Fortunately, the human being's thoughts are all on Kazaru, otherwise I wouldn't have a chance to escape. The big snake did not expect that its sneak attack would fail, but was directly injured. After Blood Mosquito and Eagle died one after another, Orochi directly chose to give up Kazaru. It would not risk its own life for Kazaru again. Hurry back and join them. If you want to kill this human, if all the monsters come together, there should be a chance. A sharp look flashed in the big snake's eyes, and its speed increased a bit again. At this time, white crocodile shang -er and several figures walked out of the dark space. The white crocodile even cursed with an unhappy look on his face. What's going on with Yingsen? The three of them can't even handle a human. shang -er touched his head and said with a grin. Didn't Takashi say that that human being is so powerful? He also has many abilities. White Crocodile snorted disdainfully, how powerful a human can be is in the secret realm. And another figure beside it spoke. White Crocodile, Eagle and Three Blood Mosquitoes are all dead. This human has proven his strength. The somewhat sinister voice made White Crocodile's eyes flash with fear, and he immediately closed his mouth. Just as he was about to leave, White Crocodile's body shook slightly. They saw a big snake emerging from the darkness beside them. Orochi, are you injured? The white crocodile's eyes narrowed, did that human do it? The big snake looked at the five white crocodile monsters in front of him, and spat out the snake letter in a somewhat tired manner. Yes, that human being is too scary. Orochi directly explained all the abilities that Zhao Fan showed, and then said seriously. This human really has the ability to control monsters. I'm afraid he has already controlled Kazaru now. Hearing what the big snake said, the white crocodile monster suddenly burst out with strong murderous intent. As a monster, he naturally cannot tolerate this matter. Then they had another meal, and they felt that the yellow ape was also dead. In this case, 
call them two and leave two of them here to guard them. The white crocodile said, returning to the dark space, and then walked out of it, followed by several figures again. At this point, there are eight monsters standing here in the dark space plus the big snake. Eight gold level peak monsters gathered together. Basically no one had ever seen such a scene, or in other words, everyone who had seen it had died. I don't believe we can let that human escape if we work together. White Crocodile said with murderous intent. With the information that Orochi saw with his own eyes, they already have a certain understanding of Zhao Fan's abilities. Space ability is difficult to deal with. The only ones we can affect space are the blood mosquitoes. The tiger-like monster among them said. It doesn't matter. I cooperate with Oni Tang. With my poison and Oni Tang's ability, he will be poisoned if he doesn't pay attention. The spider, which was always covered in dark green, said, and stretched out a foot to push the squirming vines on the side. Obviously this is the ghost vine, it has no reaction to what the poisonous spider said. As for the black flames, hide them depending on the situation. Just don't get burned. The eight monster beasts discussed this. This was the first time in their history that they were so careful about killing a human being. And this human being has a reason to die. Orochi, you know the approximate location of that human, please lead the way. Just when they finished discussing and were ready to set off, a figure suddenly emerged from the woods, immediately attracting the attention of a group of monsters. Ha, huh, human. After seeing the figure clearly, the pupils of all the monsters shrank. How could a human find this place? And you're not scared when you see them. For a moment, White Crocodile and the monster beasts did not think that the suddenly appearing human being was the target they wanted to kill. Not good. It's him. It's this human being. The big snake reacted quickly and immediately shouted loudly. Isn't this the snake that attacked me? It turned out to be here. Zhao Fan appeared on the top of a big tree. It had to be said that only from his position could he see the monsters from a normal perspective. It can be said that most monsters are very large, 3 to 4 meters is almost the norm, even the humanoid ones are 2 to 3 meters tall. Even the spider was bigger than the person with special powers that Zhao Fan met in the little fantasy world. There are eight monster beasts, and it seems that two more are guarding the core of the secret realm. Zhao Fan thought in his mind that it would be good to kill these monsters first and then find the core of the secret realm. Zhao Fan didn't put much effort into controlling the unprotected Kazaru, but it took him some time to check the memory. After having basically complete information, Zhao Fan did not wait for the monsters to come looking for him. He quickly clicked on Amaterasu in all other illusions and came directly here. Anyway, under normal circumstances, Amaterasu will burn all the targets before disappearing automatically. According to Kazaru's memory, it won't be long before everyone in the secret realm will be transformed by the energy of the Envy Demon, turning it into absorbable blood energy and collected by them. Zhao Fan simply took the time to deal with these monsters and then he could go out. Amaterasu. Only a few seconds passed from the time Zhao Fan appeared to the time he used Amaterasu. At this time, the monsters had just confirmed that it was the human in front of them who killed Ying San and the others. Before they could attack Zhao Fan, a black flame quickly spread from the poisonous spider's body. Black flame. All the monsters suddenly felt the presence of natural enemies. The big snake was even more anxious. It saw with its own eyes that the blood mosquito was directly burned to ashes by the black flames. But the big snake also knew that the poisonous spider was dead, and immediately shouted to the other monsters. This human black flame can only be released once in a short time. Everyone sees the opportunity and attack. After hearing the words of the big snake, the white crocodile and other monsters also understood that they must not let this human being slow down, otherwise they will all die under the black flames. Before the big snake could speak again, the energy of the monster beasts exploded rapidly. He attacked Zhao Fan. However, when Zhao Fan stared at the poisonous spiders, their hearts suddenly tightened. No, why is there still this flame? Black flames also appeared on the leopard-shaped monster that Zhao Fan was looking at. At the same time, Zhao Fan's eyes instantly swept across all the monsters, and the Amaterasu flames directly swept over each monster. Orochi, didn't you say he can't be released in a short time? The white crocodile struggled in the black flames. It used its own energy as nourishment to temporarily make the black flames less harmful to its body. It looked at the big snake angrily. 
The big snake was also stunned. After seeing Zhao Fan for the first time, all the monsters were turned into energy points by Zhao Fan using Amaterasu. Ah, this time, Zhao Fan rubbed his temples and felt the recovering power in his eyes. Amaterasu is good, but nothing is left after its burn. After relaxing for a while, Zhao Fan looked at the few remaining black sparks, shook his head and sighed. This wave directly harvested 400,000 energy points. Including the three monsters of Kazaru, there are almost 530,000. At this point, Zhao Fan's energy points are once again close to reaching the level of 1 million energy. Next are the last two monsters and the core of the secret realm. Zhao Fan glanced at the energy deposits happily. These were all the wealth that made him stronger. Then we came to a slightly dark and damp corner. Zhao Fan can clearly sense that there are spatial fluctuations here. There is also a way to pass in Kazaru's memory. It's just that that method is only suitable for monsters, so Zhao Fan naturally doesn't need to be so troublesome. The left eye changes rapidly, Kamui. The space vortex appeared in front of Zhao Fan, and his right eye moved slightly. The middle eye suddenly became much larger, and became larger and larger as it rotated. Soon, a space channel appeared out of thin air. This small space, which itself belongs to the secret realm, has basically no pressure for Zhao Fan to open the passage. Zhao Fan stepped in directly. In the dark space, as soon as Zhao Fan's figure appeared, a white light flashed through. He walked straight through Zhao Fan's figure and disappeared. Zhao Fan didn't have any surprise, his eyes fell on the two remaining monsters in this space. Turtle, Weasel, a huge turtle lies in the center of this space like a table, and the back of its shell is the core of the secret realm that is half red. As for why it was half red, that's because Zhao Fan directly used Amaterasu to burn away all the energy. The energy of the jealous demon was also greatly reduced. Replenishing is naturally much slower. Human, it's all because of you. The turtle's head was pointed at Zhao Fan, and the hatred and murderous intent in his eyes would make anyone tremble in fear. It can be said that if Zhao Fan hadn't kept destroying the illusion, their mission of collecting blood energy would have been completed long ago. It has lived for too long, but its strength is stuck at the peak of gold. The lifespan has reached its limit, so I am counting on the promotion diamond to let my life evolve once more. Because of the task that Jealous Demon gave them this time, they had a chance to rise to the diamond level. However, because of Zhao Fan, there was no hope of completing the task. This is why it still dared to attack Zhao Fan even after knowing that all other monsters were dead. It can be said that it wants to kill Zhao Fan more than any other monster. The white light composed of energy continuously attacked Zhao Fan, and they all passed through the body without causing any harm to Zhao Fan. Zhao Fan ignored the big turtle's attack and looked at the weasel hiding in the corner, shivering with its tail between its legs. The space shrank rapidly, and the weasel died suddenly on the spot. This movement directly caused the black turtle that had been attacking Zhao Fan to stop. After a brief pause, the black turtle quickly retracted its body into its shell, and a layer of pale white energy enveloped it. Seeing this, Zhao Fan took a curious look at the turtle's shell. Kamui flashed past, and a large piece of turtle shell disappeared directly with flesh and blood. The black turtle screamed in pain, but did not make any movement. The pale white energy enveloped the wound. Zhao Fan's pupils shrank, and he felt a burst of space energy bounce back directly from the turtle shell. This turtle can actually rebound attacks. Zhao Fan allowed this space energy to pass directly through his body, looking at the turtle shell in front of him with a sense of novelty. Of course, this rebound is not that the black turtle rebounded Kamui back. The black turtle's rebound is the energy that is automatically fed back after the intensity of the attack is weakened to a certain extent. And it seems that what type of energy can be rebounded depending on what attribute is attacked. This is equivalent to a space superpower attacking Zhao Fan with slightly weaker space energy after Zhao Fan releases Kamui. Fortunately, it's not a causal rebound, otherwise I wouldn't be able to hide. Zhao Fan sighed, looking at the big turtle in front of him in trouble. This thing can be used as a shield, right? Zhao Fan thought about how much money he could pay back if he could make a shield and sell it. In this case, he cannot destroy it violently. However, before Zhao Fan could think of a solution, the black turtle noticed that Zhao Fan had not suffered any backlash from the attack just now, and that he had completely lost all hope of living. 
Just that moment, one-tenth of his body was destroyed. Therefore, Zhang Wei's heart moved, and the energy in his body quickly gathered. Zhao Fan was stunned for a moment, Sharingan quickly spun, but Genjutsu did not have much effect. Shuangui just fell into a trance and continued to mobilize his energy. Especially Grandma's. After Zhao Fan cursed, he rushed forward and grabbed the core of the secret realm and the blood crystal above. Today is a good day, everything you want can come true. One million absorbable energy detected. Zhao Fan glanced at the black turtle that was still gathering energy, and was still a little reluctant to have a turtle shell that could rebound. The defense of this black turtle has to be said to have reached the peak of the gold level. Coupled with the effect of rebound damage, even if Zhao Fan wants to interrupt its self-destruction, it cannot be completed in a short time. And because of the suppression of the secret realm, Zhao Fan's Kamui cannot kill with one hit under the defense of the black turtle. After hearing the system's prompt, Zhao Fan immediately agreed without any further thought, and black flames also appeared on the black turtle's body. Amaterasu is only used to weaken the black turtle's energy. After all, if Amaterasu keeps burning, Zhao Fan will continue to suffer the rebound energy damage. Zhao Fan simply finished releasing Amaterasu and prepared to enter the Kamui space directly. However, in the short period of time that Zhao Fan entered the Kamui space, this dark space was already filled with countless spatial cracks spread quickly throughout the space. At the moment when he was about to touch Zhao Fan, Zhao Fan successfully entered the Kamui space. The black turtle also exploded with a bang under the damage caused by the space crack. Outside the secret realm, city lord Lin Kongyun stood in front of the light curtain at the entrance of the secret realm with a puzzled look on his face. From just now, he could feel the energy belonging to the jealous demon in the secret realm decreasing rapidly. I thought my method was working, but who would have thought that the energy of the jealous demon would be reduced one by one like a glass full of water being drunk. Therefore, Lin Kongyun directly denied this reason. He speculated that something might have happened in the secret realm. While feeling a little worried in his heart, Lin Kongyun was also a little happy. In any case, it is a fact that the energy of the jealous demon is reduced. If it continues to decrease at this rate, when it is almost done, he can directly use energy to directly wipe out the energy of the jealous demon in one go. Let the secret realm be reopened. Just when Lin Kongyun was thinking this, his hand that had been placed on the light screen suddenly felt a violent vibration in the secret realm. Lin Kongyun's eyes were suddenly filled with surprise. The core of the secret realm is gone. Just when Lin Kongyun was thinking about why the core of the secret realm suddenly disappeared. The whole secret realm was shaken. Then the secret realm light curtain was filled with cracks like broken tempered glass. Seeing this, Lin Kongyun immediately retracted his hand from the light screen, and at the same time used his mental power to spread his voice. He said to the people surrounding him, Everyone be on alert. The core of the secret realm has disappeared. The secret realm is about to be broken. All living creatures inside will be teleported out. Everyone, Please be careful and don't let any monsters escape. After hearing Lin Kongyun's words, Song Yukai and others also acted quickly. At this time, many people in the secret realm were looking at the cracks in the sky in panic. As casual cultivators, they had never encountered such a situation. The gold level students from Sushin Academy have already gathered together at this time. Without the invasion of jealous demon energy, they once again returned to their demeanor as gold level students. Although some people died because of the jealous demon's energy. But as long as they themselves are still alive. All five of our teams are here, but the freshman team is not here. Don't worry about them. It's just the four of them. I'm afraid they should all be dead by now. Alas, who knew that such a change would occur in the secret realm? These students sighed and waited quietly to be transported out of the secret realm. Several of them, who had made eye contact with Wang Zheng before, gathered together calmly. Wang Zheng didn't come back. Did something happen? It's possible, but not necessarily. We'll wait until the secret realm is sent out. Anyway, anyone alive will be sent out by the secret realm. While they were discussing, the turmoil in the secret realm intensified again, and then the energy of the secret realm swept through, and all living creatures inside were teleported out. Outside the secret realm, energy fluctuations suddenly appeared nearby, and Lin Kongyun and others' eyes narrowed. Come out. As the energy dissipated, hundreds of people appeared here. Wow, 
I'm still alive. I came out alive. Fang, don't worry, I will take good care of Aquan for you. Brother, please rest in peace, sister-in-law, I will be good to her. Looking at the mess, Lin Kongyun flew directly from the ground into the air, and the Kamui pressure of the star level spread quickly. Everyone suddenly became quiet. Quiet, everyone, stay where you are and wait for the test. You can leave only after the test is completed. At this time, these people who came out of the secret realm noticed Lin Kongyun and the people around them. I was shocked, and I already understood that what happened in the secret realm this time was probably very involved. Looking at the people around him, he took out something like a scanner and started checking everyone. This is the equipment Lin Kongyun prepared because he was jealous of the demon. Having suffered a loss once, they will naturally not make the same mistake again. Anyone who is infected with the energy of jealousy will definitely hurt the people around him if it breaks out if he does not clean it up in time. If it goes on the battlefield, the damage will be even greater. Teacher Song, have you seen Zhao Fan? Zhou Qinghen frowned and looked very unhappy when he came to Song Yukai. She did not find Zhao Fan among the people who appeared. Song Yukai shook his head and frowned. He had just discovered that not only Zhao Fan, but also many of the students he led this time were not here. At least a dozen people didn't show up here. Suddenly, Song Yukai saw something and came to the medical staff in a flash. If he remembered correctly, these two people were following Zhao Fan. Looking at Fang Ping and Xu Baoduo lying on stretchers with wounds all over their bodies, exhausted and unconscious. Song Yukai was thoughtful. Judging from the wounds on the two people, they should have been caused by mutual harm caused by the influence of the jealous demon's energy. And because their strength was about the same, they exhausted all their mental energy and passed out. Although he was injured, he was still alive and was naturally transported out of the secret realm. These two were following Zhao Fan before. Let's ask again after they have cleared up the negative influence. Song Yukai looked at Zhou Qinghen who was following him, hesitated slightly and then said something else. But don't have too much hope. After all, normally everyone who is alive will be teleported. Song Yukai sighed. Fang Ping and Xu Baoduo were able to recover from such injuries. Zhao Fan still didn't see his figure, and the result could already be imagined. As everyone was tested one by one, those who had been penetrated by the jealous demon's energy were directly found out, and then they were pulled aside to start clearing away the negative effects. Zhou Qinghen stood there quietly, feeling a little annoyed. She also didn't think Zhao Fan would die in the secret realm. You must know that the piece of Ming Shen Jade she gave to Zhao Fan not only promotes the growth of spiritual power, but also stores her energy. Can protect Zhao Fan from fatal damage once. But now that Zhao Fan can't be seen, Zhou Qinghen feels a little uneasy. Zhao Fan was the person they selected, could he just disappear like this? Could it be that she thought wrong? Or maybe Zhao Fan didn't carry the Mingxian Jade with him? This possibility also exists. Thinking like this, Zhou Qinghen took out his mobile phone and sent the message here, and then waited anxiously for a reply. Soon, the phone vibrated slightly, and Zhou Qinghen quickly checked it. After reading the words above, Zhou Qinghen breathed a sigh of relief and relaxed. The prophet's predictions have never been wrong. Since Zhao Fan is the chosen one, he must still be alive. In this case, I don't have to worry. Zhou Qinghen was certain in her heart that since the news said that she believed in the prophet's prediction, she wouldn't worry about it. As for where Zhao Fan is now, Zhou Qinghen frowned and looked at his phone, then tentatively called Zhao Fan. As Zhao Fan's teacher, he naturally knows Zhao Fan's contact information. After hearing the voice prompt on the phone that the other party was not in the service area, Zhou Qinghen put the phone away. At the moment, let's finish dealing with the jealous demon energy issue first. At this time, everyone outside the secret realm had been tested, and most of them left after there were no problems. At this time, Lin Kongyun and others gathered together to look at the ray of jealous energy that had been sealed by Song Yukai. City Lord, this jealous monster actually did such a thing within your jurisdiction, these monsters must pay the price. This time, one-third of the golden superpowers in RS City have entered this secret realm. This time, due to the energy of the jealous monster, nearly half of them died. Only the students from Sushin Academy suffered minor casualties. This is the hope of RS City. The speaker was a man about the same age as Lin Kongyun. 
he could be said to be Lin Kongyun's former teammate and brother. Of course, he is now Lin Kongyun's subordinate. I once fought with Lin Kongyun on the battlefield. So speaking is still relatively direct. Yeah, I know. Lin Kongyun nodded and looked at the jealous energy sealed in the ball, twisting like a living creature. His eyes were a little gloomy, and the things involved in this incident in the secret realm were not small. Lin Kongyun has already arranged for people to investigate. After all, according to Song Yukai's information, it is obvious that this secret realm is a trap from the monster. There must be a spy on their side to cooperate with the monsters. According to the people who came out alive, they also knew that there were demons inside. Obviously it is also related to the demon temple. Lin Kongyun thought, planning to use this ray of jealous demon energy to find the jealous demon, and then use it to give the monsters a warning. The people here basically belong to his own people, so Lin Kongyun immediately arranged things. Just when Lin Kongyun and others were dealing with the aftermath of the secret realm incident. Quick, run, why do gold-level monsters appear here? In a demon forest, two men and two women were running wildly. Some distance behind them was a rhino monster with red eyes, chasing them like a truck. You can see that the rhino's horn is thick and big, and it shines with a dark and bright luster. If this happens to someone, it will kill them. And as time goes by, the rhino is getting closer and closer to them. Obviously, for the gold-level monsters, the speed of the four of them is still slow. The two men even tried their best to suck milk. Sao Kong, why are you running so fast? Take me with you. Lu Guang, are you a man? Don't you like me? Are you scared now? Even if two girls become superpowers, their speed is different from that of men. Especially when the two men started running as fast as they could, the two of them began to fall behind gradually. When Sao Kong heard the girl's words, he didn't even look back and continued running forward. Lu Guang, on the other hand, looked confused. After thinking for a moment, he slowed down and came to one of the girls. Ning Xin, I, seeing that Lu Guang actually slowed down and came back, the girl named Ning Xin had a touched look on her face, but a hint of viciousness flashed in her eyes. She quickly lowered her eyes to prevent Lu Guang from noticing the look in her eyes. You like me so much, are you willing to help me once? Before Lu Guang could finish speaking, Ning Xin said softly. Then when Lu Guang approached, he grabbed Lu Guang's arm, and then a feeling of weakness quickly spread throughout his body. This is Ning Xin's ability, which can be strengthened or weakened. Ning Xin, you, Lu Guang's eyes widened, filled with disbelief. It was like meeting Ning Xin for the first time. Is this still the girl he had always liked? Ning Xin pushed lightly, and Lu Guang suddenly staggered. Regarding Ning Xin's behavior, the other man and woman didn't say anything. The man's eyes flashed with joy, while the girls looked a little unbearable. But after all, it was Ning Xin who committed the attack, and it had nothing to do with them. They did not slow down in order to survive. Obviously in their eyes, Lu Guang was dead. If Lu Guang didn't die, none of them could escape. Lu Guang, you are a good person, let's be together in the next life. Then Ning Xin continued to run away without looking back. Ning Xin's voice was still gentle, but Lu Guang couldn't feel the slightest warmth, and his whole heart felt cold. Hee <laughs> hee. Feeling the weakness of his body's strength, Lu Guang's running speed suddenly dropped a lot, only slightly faster than ordinary people. Looking at Ning Xin's expressionless back, Lu Guang smiled to himself. It turned out that it had always been his own fault. But he fell in love with a selfish woman. Lu Guang turned his head slightly and looked at the rhinoceros monster approaching quickly behind him. His expression was a little bitter. Thinking of how he used to care about Ning Xin every day, run around for her, change himself for her, and even refuse other people's solicitations for her. No matter what Ning Xin wanted, he would try his best to satisfy it. But this time Ning Xin attacked him directly without hesitation and abandoned him. Lu Guang finally understood that he had no meaning in Ning Xin's heart and was just a dispensable person. Hey, why do you think so much, forget it. Lu Guang ran for two steps and then stopped. He couldn't run away at his current speed anyway, so why run? He knew that Ning Xin's superpower could last at least one minute on him. And he is not originally a body-enhancing superpower. The physical strength is only slightly stronger than the bronze level. Lu Guang looked at the rhinoceros getting closer and closer. 
he could see the violence in the rhino's eyes and heard the rhino's heavy breathing. And the energy that belongs to the golden level. A tear fell from Lu Guang's eyes, and Lu Guang murmured in a low voice. Really, I regret it so much. Ying ying ying. The rhinoceros monster made a roaring sound, and looked at Lu Guang who stopped with red eyes. It lowered its head slightly, and the dark horn suddenly showed its sharpness. At the same time, the strength of the rhinoceros monster's feet also increased a lot, and it was obvious that it was ready to kill the humans in front of it. Just when Lu Guang was about to wait for death, there was a sudden wave of energy. Then a figure appeared directly between him and the rhinoceros monster. Lu Guang's somewhat absent-minded eyes immediately focused on the sudden figure, and he shouted anxiously. Get away! It's dangerous! Lu Guang didn't know who the person who suddenly appeared was, but the energy unique to the secret realm told him that this person was directly transmitted from the secret realm. In desperation, Lu Guang's superpower energy quickly emerged, and he released his superpower directly at Zhao Fan. Energy materializes. A wall of energy quickly blocked the front of the rhinoceros monster. However, under the collision of the rhinoceros monster, it didn't even last for half a second, and it shattered into light spots and disappeared. It's over. Lu Guang had no intention of resisting at all, and his superpower didn't even last a second in front of the rhinoceros monster. Compared with Lu Guang's giving up, Zhao Fan was a little confused at this time. He was having a good time in the Kamui space, and when he felt that it was almost done, he planned to go out and have a look. As a result, the moment he came out, the energy of the secret realm was directly wrapped around him and teleported. When he came back to his senses, he saw Lu Guang and the rhinoceros monster. And the surrounding demon forest seems a little dry. Where the hell did this send me? Zhao Fan thought depressedly, and the look he looked at the rhinoceros monster became dangerous. He had seen Lu Guang's reminder and behavior just now, so he had a good impression of Lu Guang. This is a kind-hearted superhuman. Thinking like this, Zhao Fan reached out and grabbed the horn of the rhinoceros monster. There was a dull thud. Has the collision force of a gold-level rhinoceros reached 30 tons? Zhao Fan calmly blocked the rhino monster's impact with one hand, and determined the physical strength of the rhino monster based on the impact he felt. No wonder the demon temple wants to demonize it. The physical strength of the demon beast is really unmatched by humans. Zhao Fan sighed and shook his head slightly. However, this scene directly frightened Lu Guang on the side. What did he just see? This person who suddenly appeared actually blocked the impact of the rhinoceros monster with one hand. But his figure did not step back at all. What kind of physical strength is this? Is this young man already at the diamond level? Looking at Zhao Fan's still a little green look, Lu Guang couldn't help but swallow. This person is so young, he must not be a teacher or anything. How could he be so strong? For a moment, Lu Guang was doubtful about life. Compared with this young man, he is simply a waste. Zhao Fan has already dealt with the rhinoceros monster here. Without the influence of the jealous monster's energy, he can use Sharingan to control the monster beast in just one look. After finishing all this, Zhao Fan came to Lu Guang, who was slumped on the ground. Little handsome guy, thank you for saving my life. Is there anything I can do to help you? Seeing Zhao Fan's young face and blood-red eyes with strange patterns at close range immediately made Lu Guang extremely nervous. He said cautiously, Lu Guang, who was being watched, didn't know what the young man in front of him was looking at him like this, but he saved him, and Lu Guang would never forget this kindness. Um, do you want revenge? Lu Guang couldn't help but be stunned when he heard Zhao Fan's words. Revenge, why? Seeing Lu Guang's surprised expression, the Sharingan in Zhao Fan's eyes gradually disappeared. He had just checked Lu Guang's memory directly through Sharingan. I got a rough idea of the information here. Already know where you are now. This place belongs to the territory of F City, and Lu Guang is a student of Fengbei College. The distance from S City is not that far, only one city separates it. Moreover, Zhao Fan also saw a familiar figure in Lu Guang's memory. Su Yan. Unexpectedly, Su Yan came to F City. But thinking about it, Su Yan is a Logia superpower and his level is not low, so Fengbei College is naturally his best choice. Zhao Fan looked at Lu Guang and asked curiously, Lu Guang, don't you hate that woman? When Zhao Fan saw Lu Guang's memory, 
he paid so much for Ning Shen, and Ning Shen accepted everything without any reward or expression. At the critical moment, he directly used his superpower to restrain Lu Guang and pushed him towards the rhinoceros monster. Zhao Fan wanted to know what a kind and honest person like Lu Guang would do to such a vicious minded woman. Hate, forget it, it's all over. Lu Guang said hesitantly, he didn't know why this young man who suddenly appeared knew about Ning Shen. He seemed to know him very well. Zhao Fan nodded. Lu Guang's answer did not surprise him. Of course the kind and honest man chose to forgive her. If you recover, go back quickly. After knowing Lu Guang's choice, Zhao Fan lost the desire to communicate with him. He left these words and walked out of the demon forest. With the distance between F City and S City, Zhao Fan still cannot teleport directly through Kamui. Although he can sense the Kamui mark, Zhao Fan's current mental strength is not enough to carry out such a long-distance transmission. And Zhao Fan still doesn't know why the Secret Realm teleported him here. Is it because Kamui's space fluctuation interferes with it? Zhao Fan thought to himself that this was still possible. But now, let's go back to City F, rest for one night, and then return to City S via intercity transportation. After Zhao Fan made this plan, he sped up and left the demon forest. Lu Guang, who was ignored by Zhao Fan, looked at Zhao Fan's leaving figure and opened his mouth, then gave up his plan to stay. He will remember this life-saving grace in his heart. When he recovered his thoughts, Lu Guang also fell into confusion. What Ning Xin just said seemed to still be echoing in her ears. She has done this, how will he face Ning Xin in the future? At the place where the rhinoceros monster was killed by Zhao Fan before, a wisp of dark red energy suddenly appeared from the ground and penetrated into the confused Lu Guang. I'm so good to her, but she treats me like this. I like her so much, why doesn't she like me? I love her, she should be with me. She's wrong, she shouldn't have done this. For a time, countless voices sounded in Lu Guang's mind, and Lu Guang's eyes kept showing confusion and anger. Forget it, that's it. Why forget it? She wants to harm you, she wants to kill you. She doesn't love you. You are a coward, even a woman can bully you. What's the use of you paying so much for her? She is nothing without your love. Why do you want to keep a woman alive who doesn't care about you? Punish her. Such a woman deserves to be punished. As these voices sounded, Lu Guang's breathing became heavier and heavier. He just felt that he was so stupid, why would he fall in love with such a woman? Moreover, that woman actually dared to harm him. Anger quickly occupied Lu Guang's entire mind. At the same time, his mental power became particularly active. Lu Guang stood up from the ground and looked in the direction Ning Xin left. With anger in his eyes, Lu Guang no longer looked as honest as before. Ning Xin, an angry voice came out of Lu Guang's mouth, and then Lu Guang moved and left here. Zhao Fan naturally didn't know what happened to Lu Guang after he left. His speed was still very fast now. He rushed directly through the trees and arrived outside the gate of F City in a short time. It's just that because Zhao Fan is a person without any entry and exit records, it took some time to verify his identity. After Zhao Fan said that he was teleported here by the secret realm, and then reported his identity information. The verification passed quickly, and Zhao Fan successfully entered F City. As soon as he came in, Zhao Fan discovered the difference between F City and S City. The weather here is relatively dry, and it seems that because there are more Logia psychics here, there are many stalls selling barbecue and ice water on the streets. Zhao Fan's desire to eat was immediately aroused. Speaking of which, besides breakfast today, he just ate something casually in the secret realm at noon. In addition to these, Zhao Fan also saw people with electrical powers also setting up stalls to charge mobile phones. These things make Zhao Fan feel a little novel. Although it exists in S City, it is not common. Most of them are cultivating spiritual plants and so on, and there are more selling fruits. After Zhao Fan took a brief stroll around, ate a lot, and with a full stomach, he found a hotel to stay. Back in the hotel room, Zhao Fan quickly and solemnly cleaned himself up. Lie comfortably on the bed. Start checking your gains. During this trip to the secret realm, he didn't get many spiritual plants or other things. But taking into account Wang Zheng's gains, he could probably exchange hundreds of thousands of points in the academy mall for things he didn't need. This is just a small head. 
The real big deal is naturally the energy value. Zhao Fan looked at the energy value in the system panel and smiled from ear to ear. The energy value is just over 2 million. I didn't expect that the core of the secret realm is worth 1 million energy points. Zhao Fan smacked his mouth, and his mind began to focus on some cores of the secret realm. Through Kazaru's memory, he already knew that some secret cores were relatively easy to find. In this case, if he needs energy in the future, he can increase it through the core of the secret realm. One million at a time, how cool. As for the other one million, it was naturally Zhao Fan who killed those monsters and burned down the illusion. This time the secret realm will directly earn blood. Zhao Fan felt excited when he saw the words, can be loaded, appearing behind his eternal Sharingan again. After praying to the gods, Buddhas and Taoist ancestors in my hometown as usual, I rubbed my hands and clicked. Let's have a Madara, or the Samsara I. Zhao Fan muttered something while looking expectantly at the choices given by the system. Please host select the currently loadable Mangekio abilities. Currently available to choose from, Yuri, Shisui, Izuna, Sasuke, Mirror, Makoto, Tajima. Shisui and Izuna showed up again this time. Zhao Fan glanced at all the choices, and then looked at the names of Izuna and Sasuke with burning eyes. Izuna's ability is not mentioned in the original book at all. Shisui Distinguished Heavenly Gods is not mentioned at all. It seems that it is not used now. If Madara doesn't appear, the only two pillars Madara can choose are. Zhao Fan thought in his mind, after all, the only Mangekio abilities he knew were those few. Since Madara is not among the choices given by the system, it is natural to choose the most powerful one. Without hesitation, Zhao Fan directly chose Sasuke and waited for Tongli's installation. But I don't want the system prompt to appear again. The testing loading capacity can be combined, do you agree? Zhao Fan was stunned, what does it mean to be able to combine? Soon, Zhao Fan figured out the reason for this prompt from the system. I thought I was already the eternal Mangekio, so there was no need for Itachi and Urzu's. It turns out we can still continue to combine. After the combination is completed, the ability to use both will be completely intact. Zhao Fan patted his head. Originally, when he ascended to the eternal Mangekio, he could already use all the loaded abilities at the same time. It's just that this simultaneous use will cause a certain amount of mental energy loss. If the combination is completed, then Zhao Fan will have no unnecessary consumption when using Itachi and Sasuke's abilities, and the intensity of Sharingan's pupil power will also increase due to the combination. If you don't agree, you won't agree. After thinking clearly, Zhao Fan was convinced and directly agreed to the combination. At the moment of agreement, the cool and refreshing feeling appeared in Zhao Fan's eyes again. And as his pupil power increased, Zhao Fan's mental power began to tumble again. Originally, when I upgraded to the Eternal Mangekio Sharingan, my spiritual power has been continuously purified and increased. For a time, the increase in energy and the coolness of his eyes made Zhao Fan's head empty and he fell asleep. When Zhao Fan woke up again, it was already the next morning. He was woken up by the strong stench. I actually fell asleep. Zhao Fan stood up and sat up directly from the bed. When he woke up this time, he felt very clear-headed, as if everything was alive. What does it smell like? The smell that lingered on the tip of his nose directly made Zhao Fan a little heady. Looking down, he saw that the entire bed was pitch black, and there was a lot of grey dirt on his body. This is so, yuck. Zhao Fan quickly opened the window and rushed into the toilet. While Zhao Fan was washing, the stench in the room spread outside through the window. What the hell does this smell like? Honey, try this kebab. Okay, yuck, who is so unethical? Is this just a waste of money? People on the street outside the house were directly aroused by the stench in Zhao Fan's room. Some bosses started cursing directly. However, after cursing a few times, he found that the smell had completely dissipated, and even he couldn't bear it, so he ran to the other side and vomited. Even the hotel owner came wearing a gas mask and knocked on the door of Zhao Fan's room, wanting to know what the guest was doing inside. In the end, Zhao Fan, who was a social worker, left the hotel with his whole body red. Being all red doesn't mean he is shy, it's just Zhao Fan trying to rub his skin clean. Fortunately, it is good to get results after hard work. Zhao Fan has figured out the reason for his sudden situation. Because, 
he has upgraded again. He is now a qualified diamond level superpower. And the mental power directly reached the level of 55,000. Still growing. Due to evolution, the body has directly reached the level of cleansing the essence and marrow. That's why so much dirt and garbage are discharged. Oh, I got upgraded after a good sleep. Really, how can I let others live? Zhao Fan shook his head slightly and sighed. At this time, he was walking towards the intercity traffic, but the conversations and atmosphere of the people around him caught his attention. Who would have thought that students from Fangbei College could do such a thing? It's so scary. That woman died so tragically. I heard that when the man was about to be taken away by the city defenders, several demons suddenly came and rescued him. Oh, the city lord was so angry about this that he sealed off city F. No one can leave now. Hearing this, Zhao Fan couldn't help but frown. No wonder he felt that there were suddenly more garrison troops on the streets. It's just that F city is on lockdown, doesn't that mean he can't go back now? Thinking in his mind, Zhao Fan still planned to go and take a look, maybe the matter had been resolved. But when Zhao Fan arrived at the intercity transportation, he just said he was ready to leave the city, and a group of city defenders suddenly surrounded him. The city lord has issued an order. City F has been sealed off. Anyone who wants to leave the city is not allowed to leave. Please come with us and be investigated. The leading man looked at Zhao Fan with a wary look, as if he was ready to take action as long as there was something wrong with Zhao Fan. Quote dot 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 quote. Zhao Fan did not expect that there would be so many people here. It seemed that he underestimated the seriousness of this matter. Does the student who committed the murder have any other background? Zhao Fan doesn't care about this, so he doesn't understand it at all. Zhao Fan nodded. He was not looking for trouble and naturally cooperated with the work of the city defenders. Seeing Zhao Fan's cooperation, the leading man also relaxed slightly, and several people immediately surrounded Zhao Fan and took him back to the city defense station. However, among the several people surrounding Zhao Fan, one of them had been quietly looking at Zhao Fan after seeing him. After confirming Zhao Fan's appearance, he quietly left here quietly. The man's actions did not attract anyone's attention. In the city guard bureau, after some identity confirmation and verification, Zhao Fan was naturally sent out. A new student in Sushin Academy who has reached the gold level is already a special genius. After learning about Zhao Fan's information, the eyes of the city defenders looking at Zhao Fan became gentle. Zhao Fan, you stay in the city for a few days now. When this matter is over, we will send someone to take you back. The man from before said to Zhao Fan. At this time, Zhao Fan already knew the man's name, Meng Shang, the squadron leader of the city defenders. The Bai Hang who was in Z City was just the squad leader. Okay Captain Meng, but what exactly happened, can you tell me? Zhao Fan asked curiously. Of course, a team from Fangbei College went to the demon forest to do a mission. As a result, they were attacked by a demon beast without recovering their mental power. During the escape, one of the female students pushed one of the boys directly towards the monster. In the end, the male student survived unexpectedly and chased the other three as they were about to reach the city gate. Then he killed the female student in a cruel way. Originally, the city defenders would have stopped this kind of thing. One is that the incident happened too fast, and the female student was killed without any precautions. However, we have not ruled out the possibility of being controlled by the illusion. The other thing is that the male student's strength was a little abnormal, so the city defenders who were present at the time were unable to capture the opponent in a short time. Then someone directly used a teleportation-type ability to send the student away directly. Meng Shang smiled and explained to Zhao Fan that he had read Zhao Fan's information and found that he not only reached the gold level, but also completed an exploration mission with a very good degree of completion. I will take some time to tell Zhao Fan, after all, the gold level is already qualified to know more information. Moreover, Zhao Fan also has the power of pupil magic. Maybe Zhao Fan can find some clues that are difficult for them to find. Thinking of this, Meng Zhang's eyes lit up, he patted Zhao Fan on the shoulder and said. By the way, Zhao Fan, you probably don't have a place to live yet, right? Listening to Meng Zhang's words, Zhao Fan felt more and more familiar with them. Isn't this what he experienced when he saw Lu Guang before? Could it be that the male student is Lu Guang? 
Zhao Fan glanced at Meng Shang, but gave up using Sharingan to read the memory and understand the information. After all, this matter has nothing to do with him. So what if it's Lu Guang? However, Zhao Fan was still a little confused, knowing that Lu Guang chose to forgive that woman at that time. Why would he suddenly choose to take revenge and kill the other party? Maybe something happened to Lu Guang after he left. Zhao Fan didn't think much and nodded to Meng Zhang's question. I plan to find a hotel to stay in again. Meng Shang waved his hand directly and smiled. I know a hotel with a very good accommodation environment. I will arrange a room for you and you will definitely be able to rest comfortably. Zhao Fan looked at Meng Shang who suddenly became a little enthusiastic and raised his eyebrows but did not refuse. He was not familiar with F City. It would be better to have someone from the city garrison help. And looking at Captain Meng Zhang's intentions, you might want to ask him for help, right? Seeing that Zhao Fan did not refuse, Meng Zhang's smile deepened a little, and he took Zhao Fan to find a good hotel. The check-in procedure was completed quickly, and the two of them sat down at a window seat in the hotel. Zhao Fan looked at Meng Shang and said, Captain Meng, I'm really sorry to trouble you, thank you. Meng Shang said with a smile, Ha ha, Zhao Fan, you're welcome. In fact, I want to ask you for help. Meng Shang himself is not a person who beats around the bush, and at this time he expressed his thoughts bluntly. Help the city defenders collect information and explore clues to find the student. Zhao Fan, we don't have many pupil-type supernatural beings with gold-level strength like you in our city defenders. This time, we need to find the student as soon as possible. Whether it's the opponent's North College or our city defenders, we need a result. And it would be even better if we could find that group of people. Meng Shang directly took out their records of the incident this time. Of course, they were the kind that could be disclosed to gold-level superpowers. After all, the city defenders will also cooperate with the college on tasks and the like. Meng Zhang's straightforward approach naturally made Zhao Fan very comfortable. He was not a person who liked to grind. Zhao Fan looked at the information on the record, which was more detailed than what Meng Shang told him before. At the same time, the reasons why the city was banned were also recorded above. Powers like teleportation basically require a positioning point. Setting the anchor point cannot be determined in a short time. And this kind of transmission distance is basically not too far. In addition, after their investigation, it was determined that this incident was an emergency and not a premeditated plan. So the person who escaped with the student must still be in the city. Zhao Fan also saw the speculation of the city defenders on it, which should be related to the demon temple. However, the possibility of the existence of other organizations cannot be ruled out. After reading, Zhao Fan looked up at Meng Shang and asked, Captain Meng, you can let me help, but I can't go back to S City now anyway. When Meng Shang heard that Zhao Fan agreed, he immediately gave Zhao Fan a thumbs up and said, Open, Zhao Fan, don't worry, we will definitely not let your work go in vain. Regardless of whether we can find clues or not, you can choose one thing from the city defender's treasure house. Hearing Meng Zhang's words, Zhao Fan also smiled and nodded, and naturally did not refuse. It is normal for help to be rewarded. He will not say anything about not using it just for the sake of face. Naturally, the due reward cannot be less. The relationship between him and the F city defenders is just an employment relationship. But I think this treasure house should be used by the city defenders specifically to reward external personnel. Zhao Fan didn't believe that the treasure trove of the city defenders could really be entered at will. Of course, this kind of thing is basically tacitly understood. What you need to pay and what you get in return are basically the same. Of course no one would say anything. Okay, Zhao Fan, please rest for a while, and I'll get you a set of certificates, so that it won't matter even if you use gold-level power in the city. Someone will deliver it directly to you later. Thank you for your willingness to help us. Zhao Fan smiled and nodded. If this was the case, he could indeed display himself better. As I said before, every city has detection methods, and any energy fluctuations above the gold level will be discovered. After Zhao Fan agreed, Meng Shang immediately stood up and said goodbye to Zhao Fan, and then left in a hurry. After Meng Shang left, Zhao Fan did not return to the room. Still sitting there, I asked the waiter to bring me a pot of tea. 
he sat with his legs crossed and took another sip of tea with a strong aroma. Zhao Fan looked out the window thoughtfully. This time he was going to stay in F City for a few days. Although it didn't make much difference to him, he still remembered what Zhou Qinghan said to him before. The original person's parents were framed and there is no valuable information until now. However, Zhao Fan still remembers the information he got from Wang Dan's memory before, thinking about what Wang Tang of the Wang family should know. The Wang family and Wang Tang, the public information is only the star level, but who dares to believe this kind of superficial information? Zhao Fan checked the relevant information on the internet and sneered at Wang Tang's introduction. Although the Wang group is said to be headquartered in a small city like Z City, it does not mean that its size is also small. To be able to create and manage such a group, it is also a military industrial project such as the manufacturing of equipment for superpowers. Obviously Wang Tang's strength is definitely not only at the star level as said on the internet. Zhao Fan touched his chin, so even if he wanted to know about his original parents through the Wang family, he must at least have a star level. However, Zhao Fan also had a rough judgment on his combat power at this time. It is most normal to be invincible at the same level, after all, he cheated. If you are facing up to the star level, Zhao Fan honestly doesn't know much about the strength above the star level, but based on the summary of his improvement along the way. The bronze level belongs to ordinary people who have just broken through the limits of the human body. The silver level can already defeat an adult tiger. The strength of the gold level has the strength to change the terrain to a certain extent, making it the best choice for the demolition brigade. Now that Zhao Fan has reached the level of diamond, it goes without saying that his power is beyond words. If Suzano's third stage half armor is activated, Zhao Fan feels that even if it is not stronger than the star level, it should be almost the same. Of course, this is Zhao Fan's speculation, and he doesn't know the specific situation. At this time, Zhao Fan suddenly thought of something and immediately slapped his forehead. Tisk, I forgot to activate the skill of the second pillar. Only then did Zhao Fan think of this incident. It was all because of his sudden promotion to Diamond. The smell alone made him confused. Zhao Fan directly drank the last bit of tea in the teapot and then checked the energy points consumed to activate Sasuke's skills. Let's see, it only costs 500,000 to activate Sasuke's skills. Zhao Fan raised his eyebrows and did not hesitate. Anyway, he still had more than 1 million energy points, so he was not short of money. Stab. A flash of lightning flashed across Zhao Fan's fingertips and then disappeared again. I have to say that the second Pilar's Chidori style is much more flexible than other skills. It's almost the same as the Thunder type ability. Quote. Zhao Fan sighed and activated Sasuke's skill bar, which suddenly gave Zhao Fan more ways to attack. Chidori's series of moves gave Zhao Fan the ability to deal with some monsters that focus on defense. Zhao Fan went straight back to the hotel room after drinking tea. Not long after he came back, the certificate Meng Shang prepared for him was delivered to him. A special badge with a miniature of F-City printed on it and a large word, show, on the back. Zhao Fan followed Meng Zhang's reminder and input his mental power to bind it inside. In this way, as long as the supernatural energy is used through one's own mental power, it will have the same frequency. This will not trigger an alarm in F-City's defense system. Zhao Fan played with the badge for a while and then put it directly into his pocket. This thing cannot be put into the ring. Just like a phone card, there will be no signal when it is received in the ring. This time to help find clues, Zhao Fan could go to the city defender's treasure house to choose an item even if he didn't do anything. But since Zhao Fan agreed, he would not break the contract casually. This is not his style. Furthermore, since he was involved in this matter, if the demon temple might still have something to do with it, he wouldn't mind taking action against the demon temple. What he saw in the gold level secret realm had already made Zhao Fan disgusted with the behavior of the demons in the demon temple. Zhao Fan would naturally not be stingy with his time if he had the opportunity to kill people from the demon temple. You can also get energy points, so why not do it? The last one, even Zhao Fan, was curious about what happened to Lu Guang. Such a sudden change in temperament made Zhao Fan unconsciously think of the energy of the jealous demon. Let's see how it goes. 
Zhao Fan also wanted to resolve these matters as soon as possible so that he could go back and chat with Zhou Qinghen. Zhao Fan didn't rest and was ready to go out. He planned to go to the city gate to take a look. If it was a teleportation power, there would definitely be traces in space. He can completely open the channel again through Kamui's ability. As for whether his own strength will be exposed, Zhao Fan has not considered it. His current strength is no longer something that ordinary superpowers can target. Even if a star-level master comes, he will be even happier. He is worried that no one will come to let him test his strength. When Zhao Fan left the hotel, he saw someone selling ice cream outside the hotel entrance and couldn't help but take a second look. It wasn't there when Meng Shang brought him here just now. However, Zhao Fan didn't pay attention and walked directly past and left towards the city gate. After Zhao Fan left, the ice cream seller quickly took out his cell phone and started sending messages. Report, the target has left the hotel and headed towards the street at the city gate. After sending the message, the boss quickly collected all the ice cream and left the place with his cart. Zhao Fan walked all the way to the city gate, took out the certificate Meng Shang gave him, tested it, and went out of the city gate directly. In fact, only this city gate can be proved to be exited. After all, some detection abilities need to go to the point of incident before they can be used. Zhao Fan, led by the city defenders, arrived at the incident site and saw that several people were here, and there were also four city defenders around. Obviously always ready to act immediately if anything is discovered. However, Zhao Fan did not see Meng Shang here. It must be that he is not responsible for this area. The moment Zhao Fan arrived, he attracted the attention of others. After taking a look at Zhao Fan, they were a little surprised. How could such a young boy come here? However, they were curious and did not ask. The person who appeared here must be recognized by the city defenders. At least he had the strength of the gold level. After all, the student already had the strength of the gold level. Zhao Fan watched as these people used radar-like spiritual objects to sweep the ground like minesweepers. There was another person who kept stretching his nose and sniffing around. Apparently, he was a person with superpowers who could track smells. Zhao Fan thought with some evil intentions in his heart, if he farted at this time, wouldn't he be able to defeat this superpower without any injuries? After all, it is too easy to deal with this kind of smell-sensitive ability. Zhao Fan observed for a while and then opened his eyes to view the place through Sharingan's perspective. Zhao Fan's eyes directly explored every part of the land. According to the description of the city defenders, this was the place where the student disappeared. If it is a space teleportation, there will naturally be space fluctuations left behind. However, Zhao Fan gave up after using Obito's pupil power for a while. He didn't sense any spatial fluctuations here. Either because the opponent's space ability has reached a very high level, the space nodes will disappear in a short time. But the problem is that space superpowers with such attainments are at least very strong, and are fully capable of rescuing people without being discovered by anyone. This is why Meng Shang came to the conclusion that it was a fixed point transmission. Zhao Fan thought in his mind that if the spatial ability was excluded, it would be normal for him to not be able to sense it. After all, fixed point transmission is not limited to space. Zhao Fan looked at the ground at the accident site. The land was stained red with blood and looked messy and fluffy because of the battle. The other party may be teleported away directly through a method similar to Earth style. This method is naturally much slower than space teleportation, and is more easily interrupted by energy. After taking a look at the people who were still exploring, Zhao Fan turned around and walked back. His move even shocked the city defender who brought him here. He left not long after he came here. Fortunately, the city defenders didn't ask too much, and Zhao Fan still discovered something when he came this time. If I look further, there will be nothing left. It's really Lu Guang. Did something happen after I left? Zhao Fan saw a trace of residual energy through Sharingan's perspective. Because he not only saw Lu Guang's supernatural moves with his own eyes, but also checked Lu Guang's memory. Naturally, he had some understanding of Lu Guang's energy fluctuations. Zhao Fan has determined that the person who killed this time was the kind-hearted Lu Guang he met before. That bit of energy residue not only contained Lu Guang's energy fluctuations, but also had a light red sheen in Zhao Fan's field of vision. The color of Lu Guang's energy was different from before. 
Obviously, things are not that simple. I really didn't expect that the honest man's anger would come so quickly. Zhao Fan thought like this, and soon he returned to his position at the city gate. The return this time was naturally smooth as the city defenders accompanied him, and he returned directly to the city. At this time, Zhao Fan paused. He did not cancel Sharingan. Because of this, the energy response in the city was somewhat beyond his expectation. In his field of vision, there were actually several people with a light red sheen similar to Lu Guang's residual energy. Is it a coincidence, or what? Such doubts appeared in Zhao Fan's heart, but seeing the reactions of those people at this time made Zhao Fan suddenly become vigilant. Sharingan's insight allowed him to clearly see that these people with light red energy reactions were all observing him in an unobtrusive way. Is these people targeting me? Such a conclusion appeared in Zhao Fan's mind, but he did not show it on his face, but his eyes were directed at one of the superpowers with strong energy response. He was the strongest among these people. Zhao Fan was ready to control the other party directly, but he had no intention of playing a back and forth game. If the distance was not too far and he could not directly input his pupil power into the opponent's eyes through his sight, otherwise he would be able to control the opponent the moment he discovered the opponent. As soon as Zhao Fan took a step, he suddenly heard someone calling his name. Zhao, Zhao Fan, are you coming to F City? Chapter 91 Hearing the sound, Zhao Fan couldn't help but frown and looked at the person. Su Yan, not far away, Su Yan was looking at Zhao Fan with a surprised expression, and there were two people following him. One of them was Shi Lei, who had been following Su Yan. It turned out that Zhao Fan sold the god restoring fruit to the two of them in Z City. The other one Zhao Fan didn't recognize was probably a student from Fengbei College. Zhao Fan, it's really you. Why did you come to F City? Su Yan and the others came to Zhao Fan. Su Yan looked at Zhao Fan uncertainly and asked. When he saw Zhao Fan's pair of Sharingan, he shuddered unconsciously and subconsciously looked away. Zhao Fan glanced at Su Yan, nodded, and at the same time paid attention to the reactions of several people who reacted to the red energy. Fortunately, they didn't seem to be planning to leave. Zhao Fan then said to Su Yan, I have something to deal with. I'll go back to City S after handling it. Then Zhao Fan smiled and continued to Su Yan and Shi Lei. Congratulations, you have reached the silver level. Su Yan was stunned for a moment, and then said with a smile. I knew it, with your pupil skills, I would be able to tell. Since you have something to do, I won't bother you. We also have college tasks. Zhao Fan, if you're done, give me a chance and I'll treat you to dinner. Zhao Fan nodded and left directly. He noticed that the most powerful person seemed to be changing places. After watching Zhao Fan leave, the smile on Su Yan's face became a little depressed. He had already seen Zhao Fan's strength, and Wang Dan had no resistance under those eyes. He originally felt that he had made rapid progress after reaching the silver level, and many freshmen like him were still in the bronze level. With just a few of them rising to the silver level, it was natural that there would be some inflation. However, Zhao Fan immediately revealed that they had risen to the silver level. Su Yan was not a fool and naturally understood that Zhao Fan's strength would never be lower than the silver level. Brother Su, who is that person? He looks so arrogant, he even uses supernatural powers in the city. Another person asked Su Yan with some dissatisfaction. You must know that they are the fastest students in the academy's freshman class to reach the silver level, so they should have a lot of arrogance. However, after seeing Zhao Fan's scarlet eyes, he felt a little scared in his heart, but when he saw that neither Su Yan nor Shi Lei had any other reaction, he endured it. He waited until Zhao Fan left before he dared to speak out, feeling both dissatisfaction with his own timidity and dissatisfaction with Zhao Fan. After Su Yan heard this, she looked at him deeply before speaking. He is my classmate in No. 1 Middle School. Didn't you notice that he knew we were already at the silver level just by looking at us? Although this may be due to his pupil power, you didn't see that he didn't feel envious at all when he congratulated us. This, the man was speechless when he heard Su Yan's words and didn't know what to say. Thinking back on what happened just now, it seems that this is indeed the case. However, Su Yan actually had one sentence that she didn't say. That was when he saw those eyes again, a feeling of panic and fear subconsciously arose from deep in his heart. 
It was as if he would die easily under those eyes. The feeling that her life was not under her control made Su Yan even more flustered. After Su Yan and the others were in a daze for a while, Su Yan spoke. Let's go, today's task should be done, otherwise I will be anxious if the task is delayed for too long. Shi Lei nodded aside. The other person also came back to his senses from his previous thoughts, and when talking about the mission, he said curiously. Speaking of which, there have been a lot more silver level tasks recently. And they are all tasks that require the help of our students. I don't know why there are so many people in the city suddenly needing help or something. The man shook his head as if he didn't understand these things. Su Yan didn't say anything after hearing this. He also had such doubts in his heart. It's just that curiosity is a curiosity, and it is still very convenient to earn points by completing tasks. The more tasks they have, the greater their chances of gaining points. In the academy, in addition to competition in terms of strength, there is also competition in terms of task points. Su Yan and the other three also quickly rushed to the marked location of the mission. Back to Zhao Fan. At this time, the person Zhao Fan had been paying attention to seemed to find Zhao Fan looking at him. There was no trace of panic. Instead, he smiled and nodded to Zhao Fan, looking like an innocent and friendly passerby. Zhao Fan curled his lips slightly and walked quickly to the other party, then walked past him and entered a small alley on the side. And this man followed Zhao Fan step by step. After realizing that no one else would come here, Zhao Fan stopped and turned back to look at this person. He had already controlled the other party just as he passed by. Now, Zhao Fan can obtain information by understanding the other party's memory. The Demon Temple, is it really the Demon Temple? Zhao Fan carefully checked the other party's memory. The first thing I saw was the most common half-demon in the Demon Temple. In his memory, there is a mission given to him by the Demon Temple. Zhao Fan even saw the information about himself in the Demon Temple from this person's memory. Am I actually an A-level seed target? Seeing this, Zhao Fan couldn't help but chuckle. The Demon Temple paid attention to Zhao Fan from the beginning, and after collecting information, it was determined that there was something extraordinary about Zhao Fan. Although Zhao Fan did not conduct the gold level test in public because of Zhou Qinghen. But Zhao Fan's student information has been updated. Otherwise Meng Shang would not know that Zhao Fan has reached the gold level. This kind of thing is not a secret in the first place, and it is naturally easy to find out. The Demon Temple paid more attention to Zhao Fan precisely because they knew that Zhao Fan had risen to the gold level. Moreover, Zhao Fan's information standards were raised to level A. They wanted to know how Zhao Fan rose to the gold level so quickly. Tisk, tisk, the Demon Temple is trying to buy something. Unfortunately, this hanging is an exclusive special edition. Now that Zhao Fan saw the information about the Demon Temple, he no longer had the initial sense of urgency. Even if he knew that he had been focused on by the Demon Temple, he didn't panic at all. This is the change in mentality brought about by improving strength. Through memory, Zhao Fan already knew the intelligence information of this person observing him. They belong to the Demon Temple's intelligence observation group, and the strongest person is the leader of their group. In this regard, Zhao Fan also understood the reason why these people appeared here. But Zhao Fan's biggest question is still unresolved. That is the energy color that Lu Guang changed. Why is it the same as the energy color of these people? Not only is the color the same, it also gives Zhao Fan the same feeling. Obviously it belongs to the same source of energy. Zhao Fan patiently continued to check the other party's memory. However, this time Zhao Fan's brows began to wrinkle. As he continued to learn more, there was a hint of boredom in Zhao Fan's eyes. The level classification and intelligence stratification of the Demon Temple are really amazing. Zhao Fan said a little irritably. Because the team leader in front of him was not at a high level, he only knew that there was a big move going on in the Demon Temple. As for what the big move was, he had no idea at all. I only know that there will be action in F-City, but I don't know the time or anything. But the group leader also accepted a glimmer of energy given to him from above. This energy is what changes the color of his energy. What's the big move of the demon temple? Is it related to that trace of energy? Zhao Fan touched his chin and fell into thinking. He has almost checked this person's memory. 
This is the only valuable intelligence information, and the rest is not much different from the ordinary demons in the demon temple. Zhao Fan knocked this man unconscious with a slap. He planned to give this man directly to Meng Shang. After all, he belonged to the demon temple, although Zhao Fan did not see any news related to Lu Guang in his memory. But the similarity in that trace of energy convinced Zhao Fan that this matter was the work of the demon temple. Lu Guang was rescued by people from the demon temple. The team leader immediately became about 20% stronger after receiving that bit of energy. This also explains why Lu Guang suddenly became stronger and was able to survive the siege of the city defenders. Obviously Lu Guang should have been affected by the same energy, and then his strength increased greatly. S City has a jealous demon energy, and City F is going to have one too. Zhao Fan recalled the differences between these two types of red energy. Then he thought about the information given by the city defenders. Lu Guang was angry and brutally killed Ning Xin. As one jealous and the other angry, Zhao Fan guessed in his heart and murmured in a low voice. At the same time, he took out his mobile phone and contacted Meng Shang. After receiving the call, Meng Shang arrived at this small alley in less than 10 minutes. As soon as Meng Shang came over, he saw the man who had fainted on the side. He quickly came closer and asked Zhao Fan uncertainly. Zhao Fan, is what you said on the phone just now true? Is he from the Demon Temple? Zhao Fan nodded and said without paying attention to Meng Zhang's surprised tone. Well, he is the team leader of the Demon Temple's reconnaissance team and has C-level information transmission abilities. Zhao Fan just briefly talked about the person's identity and abilities, and did not tell Meng Shang all the other information he saw. Zhao Fan didn't want to explain, he didn't need to expose his ability directly. Haha, <laughs> Zhao Fan, well done. Although Meng Shang couldn't believe it, who would have thought that Zhao Fan, who had just arrived in F-City, could catch someone from the Demon Temple so quickly? Such efficiency, and seeing that there are no traces of fighting here, it is obvious that Zhao Fan, a freshman at Sushin Academy, is not weak in combat power. Likewise, Meng Shang still wanted to believe that Zhao Fan would not deceive him about this kind of thing, so he moved his eyes away from the unconscious man and looked at Zhao Fan. Zhao Fan, how did you discover him? As soon as Meng Zhang's eyes fell on Zhao Fan, a pair of scarlet sharingan immediately made the smile on Meng Zhang's face freeze. Is this Zhao Fan's pupil technique? Meng Shang had to admit that he felt nervous under the gaze of Zhao Fan's eyes. Zhao Fan pointed to his eyes and smiled. That's what I saw. Meng Shang glanced at the sharingan pattern in Zhao Fan's eyes several times in a row, and Zhao Fan's position in his heart was once again improved a lot. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Zhao Fan, your special ability is very suitable for reconnaissance work. Why don't you consider joining our city to defend the city? For a moment, Meng Shang was a little happy to see Zhao Xin. He did underestimate Zhao Fan's ability in eye skills. He couldn't help but open his mouth to recruit Zhao Fan. Zhao Fan smiled and shook his head after hearing this. Thank you Captain Meng for your appreciation. I haven't finished school yet. Let's talk about it then. Hearing Zhao Fan say this, Meng Shang also realized that Zhao Fan is still a new student, but his strength is almost catching up with some older people. Coupled with Zhao Fan's usual temperament and state, it is difficult to remember that Zhao Fan is just a freshman who has just entered the academy. Looking at Zhao Fan's young and handsome face, Meng Shang had to sigh that some people are just different from others. Yes, you are still young. It is a good thing to study more. Then we will talk about it when the time comes. Meng Shang also said with a smile. Speaking of it, Zhao Fan gave him a very good feeling. He did not have the arrogance of a genius, nor did he feel that he was superior to others. There is nothing wrong with him except that he doesn't like to talk a lot. In this way, Zhao Fan watched Meng Shang and other city defenders take the team leader away before walking out of the alley. There was one more thing he needed to confirm. In the memory of this group leader, his group members are basically people who have received this energy. Therefore, their energy color will have a light red change. This is also the problem. Previously, Zhao Fan noticed that among the people who had been secretly observing him, there were also ordinary superpowers. If those people are not from the Demon Temple, then who are they? He realized that besides the Demon Temple, there should be another force paying attention to him. Zhao Fan couldn't help but smile, and the sharingan in his eyes became scarlet and shiny. 
Interesting. However, after Zhao Fan came out of the alley, he found that the few people who had been quietly observing him were no longer there. Not only the team leader's team members, but also some of the ordinary superpowers who were monitoring him were also missing. Hey, it seems they have discovered something is wrong. Zhao Fan slapped his forehead. Thinking about it, he was the one receiving attention in the first place. Naturally, other people would notice him entering the alley. When he saw Meng Shang and other city defenders coming over, he must have understood that something happened to the team leader who had followed him into the alley. But forget it if you can't find it now, Zhao Fan is not in a hurry. Just now he saw that there was nothing abnormal in the energy reactions of the several city defenders led by Meng Shang, which made him feel relieved. At least Meng Shang and the city defenders are not involved with the demon temple. But this gave Zhao Fan a new idea. Of course, it's not yet time. Since there is no one monitoring him here, Zhao Fan will not stay here anymore. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Zhao Fan planned to take a walk around F City and see if he would find anything else. Ah, phew, in the dark room, a man's whole body was bound by chains. The only sound in the room was the man's heavy breathing. At the same time, as he struggled, the chains on his body rattled even more. However, it still bound him tightly without any loosening. Tread, step, step. Crisp footsteps sounded in the dark room, and the sound could be heard coming from far away. Apparently someone is coming here. The sound of footsteps immediately attracted the attention of the man who was bound by chains, and suddenly there were loud roars and the sound of chains. Don't bother, you are lucky to be chosen by adults. As the footsteps disappeared, the visitor looked at the man bound by the chains and spoke. The voice is very calm, with a hint of smoke and magnetism. I didn't expect you to be able to persevere. Ah, who, are you? The bound person also gave up struggling at this time, and uttered these words incoherently. After hearing his question, the visitor did not answer, but just chuckled. You're still conscious. Oh my, I really appreciate you more and more. Feel the energy bestowed upon you by the adults. Soon it will be time for you to perform. If you behave well, your wish can come true. Even if you make that woman come back to life, it's not impossible. The visitor's tone was a little playful. The dark room did not affect his vision. He looked at the man whose body was trembling because of his words. Apparently what he said had been heard by this man. The visitor immediately turned around and left, and the footsteps sounded again, along with a subtle murmur. It looks like there's something good to watch. The only person left in the dark room was the man bound by chains. The chains intertwined and made a slight sound, and the breathing never stopped. The man opened his eyes suddenly, revealing a pair of eyes wrapped in red energy. He curled up and a painful and extremely angry voice came out from between his teeth. Ning Shin, Zhao Fan, did you discover these? Meng Shang rushed over in a hurry, with an expression of disbelief on his face. Hold head high, Zhao Fan raised his chin slightly. He did not expect that after wandering around, he would find more than a dozen people with red energy. Captain Meng. These are all people related to the demon temple, and they are all left to you. Zhao Fan pointed to the dozen victims behind him who had been knocked unconscious by him, and said to Meng Shang. Why, Meng Shang couldn't tell what emotions he was feeling at this time. Both happy and a little frustrated. Their city defenders also have many detectives with special abilities, and after this incident, they are basically looking for clues. But those are just trivial things. It still takes some time to really trace it back to someone. Unlike Zhao Fan, who can directly determine who it is. In this case, there is simply no way to compare. Meng Shang wiped the sweat from his head. He did not expect that Zhao Fan could catch so many people at once. Well, Zhao Fan, are you sure that all these people are related to the Demon Temple? Meng Shang still can't believe it. It has always been difficult to determine the identity of the people in the Demon Temple unless they are exposed themselves. I'm sure, these are all people related to the Demon Temple. Zhao Fan nodded and thought about how Meng Shang had given him a good feeling so far, so he might as well reveal a little information. The energy response in the bodies of those in the Demon Temple is different from that of other superpowers. And my pupil technique can distinguish this difference. Zhao Fan also spread his hands, looking like he didn't want to either. I can't help it, they were caught by me like this. Zhao Fan, are you telling the truth? 
Can you see the difference in their energy reactions? After hearing Zhao Fan's words, Meng Zhang's eyes brightened up and he confirmed to Zhao Fan again. If what Zhao Fan said is true, it would be good news to their city defenders. You only need to take Zhao Fan in front of some key people to determine whether it is related to the demon temple. Such a good human detector cannot let go of anything. Meng Shang began to calculate in his heart how to completely tie Zhao Fan to the city defenders. His eyes were also carefully observing the people Zhao Fan caught. Zhao Fan saw that Meng Zhang's face suddenly turned gloomy, and his eyes became a little fierce, staring behind him. Zhao Fan looked back curiously. Could it be that the person he captured had some relationship with Meng Shang? He arrested so many people this time and did not check their memories. After all, the strength of these people was not as strong as that of the previous team leader. And based on the urine properties classified by the levels in the demon temple, we also know that there is basically no valuable information. Zhao Fan simply did not waste that energy. Zhao Fan, thank you for what you have done. These people are very important to us. Meng Shang had a smile on his face again, but the look in his eyes was a little anxious and angry. Zhao Fan waved his hand, this kind of thing didn't take much effort. And by the way, Zhao Fan enjoyed the local customs and customs of F-City, and Zhao Fan felt pretty good. Regarding Meng Zhang's current state, Zhao Fan did not ask any more questions out of curiosity. After thinking about it, he knew that one of the people he arrested should be known to Meng Shang. Zhao Fan, please accept this. You can use this for all your purchases in F-City. Don't refuse in a hurry. This is what you deserve for helping us. Meng Shang directly handed Zhao Fan something similar to a bank card. Before Zhao Fan could refuse, he continued. I'll take them away first. If anything happens, I'll contact you later. Hurry up. Brother Zhao has saved us so much time. Are you so embarrassed? After speaking to Zhao Fan, Meng Shang shouted to a group of city defenders he led. They quickly tied up a dozen people who were knocked unconscious by Zhao Fan and left here directly. Zhao Fan just watched Meng Shang and the others lead them away neatly, holding the card Meng Shang gave him in his hand. This Meng Shang really knows how to behave. Zhao Fan touched the card in his hand and knew that it was specially given to him by Meng Shang. But since someone was reimbursing me, I happened to see a barbecue restaurant that was pretty good when I was shopping. After making up his mind, Zhao Fan walked directly towards the barbecue restaurant without any ink. Meng Zhang's face became very gloomy as he left, and his eyes kept scanning the face of one of the people who was arrested. You must know that their city defenders themselves have suspicious targets, and someone will be responsible for reviewing and confirming whether there are any problems with these targets every time. But now he saw among these people a person who was originally confirmed to be fine. The meaning of this is different. It would be fine if this person hid it well, but if not, Meng Shang gritted his teeth and a stern look flashed in his eyes. I hope this has nothing to do with you. Meng Shang whispered, because the city defender who confirmed this person's identity could be said to be his good friend, and he was even more unwilling to believe that this matter would be related to his good friend. But he also believed in Zhao Fan's confirmation. After all, Zhao Fan had just arrived in F-City, and there was no problem with his identity information. Moreover, he also had interactions with teachers from S City Su Theological Seminary, which gave him more recognition for Zhao Fan. It could be said that Zhao Fan had no conflict of interest with them, so even if Meng Shang was surprised, he never questioned the people Zhao Fan arrested. After Meng Shang returned to the City Guard Bureau, he dealt with the intelligence issues of these people. At this time, the entire F City was experiencing different changes because of Zhao Fan's arrest of these people. Zhao Fan, who was the instigator, returned to the hotel to rest with a full stomach and a full stomach. After a comfortable sleep, Zhao Fan came to the next day feeling refreshed. I ordered the hotel's breakfast directly in the room and enjoyed it. Bang bang bang. When Zhao Fan was almost done eating, there was a knock on the door of the room. Zhao Fan wiped his mouth and took a look at the gate of opening. It turned out to be the city defenders under Meng Shang. Zhao Fan remembered it very clearly. Hello. Mr. Zhao, Captain Meng would like to invite you to visit the City Guard Bureau. The city defender saluted Zhao Fan very politely and then said to Zhao Fan. Meng Shang sent people to look for me so early. Could it be that he discovered something from those people yesterday? 
Zhao Fan was a little confused, but he still said politely to the city defender. Okay, wait a moment. Zhao Fan ate all his breakfast. It was a matter of principle not to waste food. After eating, Zhao Fan directly followed the city defender and left the hotel. As soon as he came out, Zhao Fan felt that the atmosphere in the city had changed. Why is there no one on the street today? Zhao Fan looked at the originally bustling streets, but now almost no one could be seen. You must know that when he got up in the hotel yesterday, there were many people there even in the morning. Well, something happened last night. The city defender said this. Zhao Fan was a little confused. He didn't notice anything last night. However, seeing that the city defender didn't seem to give him a detailed explanation, Zhao Fan's eyes flashed red. Zhao Fan didn't speak again along the way, his eyes constantly observing everything around him. It wasn't until they reached the city guard station that the red light in Zhao Fan's eyes faded away. Zhao Fan, you are here. When he saw Mang Zhang's appearance, Zhao Fan suddenly said in surprise. Captain Mang, what are you doing? At this time, Meng Shang was no longer in the same state as yesterday. Instead, he looked like he was suffering from malnutrition and kidney deficiency due to huge consumption. The extremely weak look on his face and the dark circles under his eyes made Zhao Fan think that Meng Shang might not have met a female goblin last night. Hey, I'm fine, it's just that I consumed too much. Meng Shang knew what he looked like now, waved his hand to Zhao Fan and said. You should have noticed the changes in the city, right? Meng Shang looked at Zhao Fan and asked. Zhao Fan nodded. He had already determined that something serious must have happened last night. Just along the way from the hotel where he stayed to the city defense bureau, he found signs of fighting in two places. And there is a remnant of that red energy in it. What puzzled him was that he didn't notice anything last night. Last night, there was a sudden riot in the city. Meng Shang sighed and said. Moreover, this kind of riot occurs suddenly without any warning, and one person attacks the people around him crazily. Many people lost their lives in this inexplicable riot. Meng Shang frowned, with anger in his tone. Even if our city defenders responded quickly to deal with these people, there are still many people who cannot be rescued. After investigation, it was discovered that these people's riot actually started very early. Quote, these people who caused the riots had their relatives killed long ago. Hearing this, Zhao Fan couldn't help but his eyelids twitched, riot, sounds a bit familiar. But even so, what would Meng Shang want to do if he came to him? Meng Shang took a deep breath to calm down the anger in his heart. He had seen too many scenes like this last night. As a city defender, he was naturally extremely angry at such people who killed relatives. Meng Shang looked at Zhao Fan and said, Zhao Fan, I didn't tell you before that the reason why the city lord closed the city directly, besides arresting that person, was because of this. A special energy is found in their bodies. Special energy. Zhao Fan said, he originally thought that the closure of the city was a bit of a fuss, after all, it directly blocked all outward traffic from the entire city. Lu Guang and the Demon Temple alone should not be like this. If it has something to do with that special energy, it would make sense. Meng Shang looked at Zhao Fan with deep meaning and said, Zhao Fan, you should know that kind of energy. Upon hearing this, Zhao Fan's heart moved. Meng Shang continued, The reason why the city lord can be cautious this time is because of the energy reaction of the previous student. A special energy that can trigger anger in people's hearts and make them furious. Meng Shang leaned on the seat a little weakly, looked at Zhao Fan and said, the reason why we called you here this time is because we plan to ask for your help. Zhao Fan, I have to say that you have done us a big favor. Because the people you captured all have that special energy reaction in their bodies. Speaking of this, Meng Shang twitched his lips and revealed a smile. Originally I didn't have this idea, but remembering yesterday that you said you could see the difference in their energy reactions, I made this decision. This also allows us to confirm that the demon temple is related to this special energy. And it's through these people that the effects of that particular energy can be determined. Hearing Meng Shang say this, Zhao Fan couldn't help but speak. Has your city lord told you the origin of this special energy? These words made Meng Shang glance at Zhao Fan in surprise, shook his head and said. No, the city lord did not tell us the specific information about this energy. Zhao Fan, 
I know you can see special energy, so I want to ask you to help us solve this matter. Meng Shang straightened up and looked at Zhao Fan solemnly. I also don't like to say such high-sounding things about asking you for other people, for this city, etc. As long as you agree, feel free to ask for anything. I will try my best to meet your request. Meng Shang promised directly to Zhao Fan. He spent the whole night yesterday rescuing people everywhere and witnessed with his own eyes what people affected by that special energy would become. Even because of the sudden surge in strength, a city defender was sacrificed. Most importantly, they have no way of distinguishing who is affected. There was nothing unusual about these people before the outbreak. It was even said that the people they originally rescued suddenly became violent and injured the next moment without any warning. One night passed like this, which was why he was so weak. After coming back, the first thing he thought of was Zhao Fan. It's because Zhao Fan can directly help them find this type of people. Okay, I need a spiritual plan to increase my mental power, and a weapon. Zhao Fan didn't hesitate, he could certainly do something beneficial. Moreover, he can also make good friends with the city defenders and even the lord of a city. After Zhao Fan came to F-City, he also contacted Zhou Qinghan, who told him that he was a student of Sushin Academy and needed to report. Through Zhou Qinghan and Zhao Fan, they also knew that the information circulated in S-City was only a rough idea, and they also used special energy to replace the energy of the jealous demon. Zhao Fan doesn't believe that the lord of a city doesn't know about the jealous demon. This energy with distinct characteristics is so identifiable. But since it has not been made public, Zhao Fan will not talk too much. I think the reason why the city lord of F-City is so cautious must have something to do with this. After all, they had appeared in City S, and there must be some connection between the city lords. From this point of view, the reaction of the city lord of F-City was not surprising. Meng Shang didn't know that Zhao Fan had thought so much in one moment. After hearing Zhao Fan's agreement, he didn't say anything to Zhao Fan's request. Send someone directly to take Zhao Fan to the treasure house to pick out what he needs. After Zhao Fan came out, it was obvious that the face of the city defender guarding the warehouse was twitching. Even the look he looked at Zhao Fan became a little dangerous. Zhao Fan didn't pay attention to the little eyes staring at him from behind, and returned to Meng Shang again. Meng Shang also knew that Zhao Fan had taken a lot of things, but after taking a deep look at Zhao Fan, he directly looked at Zhao Fan said solemnly. Zhao Fan, since your request has been met, I'll leave it to you. With that said, Meng Shang saluted directly to Zhao Fan. Seeing this, Zhao Fan did not hesitate and returned the gift immediately. Captain Meng, don't worry, since I got the benefits, I will definitely find these people. Zhao Fan, who got a lot of good things, was in a good mood, and he was still happy to do this deal. Moreover, he can also cause trouble for the demon temple and make a lot of money. Next, Meng Shang needed to recover as soon as possible, so Zhao Fan left the city defense bureau directly. Accompanying him were two city defenders, golden rank. Moreover, there is a special contact in his mobile phone. As long as he dials this contact, any idle city defender within a hundred meters will rush to his location within ten minutes. The positioning relies on the previous badge. Zhao Fan looked at the number of bold people on the street and murmured excitedly. The spot the difference game begins. Zhao Fan Sharingan appeared and looked back at the two city defenders. At the same time, two crow clones Zhao Fan appeared behind them. This is my clone, with the same abilities as me. Zhao Fan said with a smile to the two stunned city defenders. This way, one of you and one clone can improve the efficiency of our search. The two city defenders looked at the pattern in Zhao Fan's eyes and looked back and forth between the clone and Zhao Fan with strange eyes. It's not like they haven't seen the clone power before, but they've also seen Zhao Fan's information. Wasn't it about the pupil power? How come you still have such a clone ability? And they even separated two of them directly. Is it a double superpower? Various thoughts emerged in the minds of the two city defenders. Although this scene shocked them, they still smiled and nodded in response when they heard Zhao Fan's words. Okay, no problem. After seeing Zhao Fan and his two clones nodding, the two city defenders felt even weirder. Do these two clones still have their own independent thinking? 
How is it possible? With such doubts, the city defenders still chose a direction alone, and Zhao Fan's shadow clone also set off behind them. This time it can be said that it belongs to the task requirements of the city defender Meng Shang. Zhao Fan only needs to find those people affected by the special energy. In Zhao Fan's opinion, using crow clones to shorten the search time is perfect. It consumes less and can still use Sharingan's basic abilities. Of course, because he was not sure what kind of power those who monitored him had besides the demon temple, Zhao Fan did not use all his strength. It was enough to separate two crow clones. Watching the two city defenders leave, Zhao Fan also walked towards the street. He plans to use Sharingan to control anyone who has special energy reactions. Just wait until it's almost time to contact the city defenders. In this way, after searching for a while, seven people were following Zhao Fan, and they were all very quiet. When someone familiar asks them what they are doing, they would all reply, We are cooperating with the work of the city defenders, please don't disturb me, thank you. The entire search went without causing any ripples. At this time, Zhao Fan, who had been walking in front to observe, paused in front of the entrance of a bathing center. He saw a reaction of special energy in a room on the top floor of the place. Zhao Fan narrowed his eyes slightly, looked at the bathing center in front of him, and then walked directly inside. Sorry, we are closed today. As soon as he entered the hall, a reasonably decent woman quickly stopped in front of Zhao Fan. However, when she saw Zhao Fan's eyes, she suddenly stopped talking. Then quietly walked aside. Zhao Fan did not stop and continued to the top floor as if there was no one around. Anyone who sees Zhao Fan and tries to stop him is controlled by Genjutsu. Then, Zhao Fan stopped at the door of a house, and next to him was an ant in charge of the gate of opening. Click, the room door was successfully opened. After Zhao Fan walked in, he found that the window was opened and the room was empty. He ran away, it seems someone informed him. Zhao Fan glanced at the room and found that there was nothing else of value. At this moment, Zhao Fan frowned. One of his crow clones disappeared because of lack of energy. What happened? You must know that if you just use Sharingan's basic ability to find the difference in energy, the crow clone with his current strength can last at least half a day. Zhao Fan checked the memory of the crow clone. As this, someone finally unable to bear it any longer. After reading the memory, Zhao Fan finally knew what happened to the Crow Clone. Six superpowers appeared directly over there and attacked the Crow Clone without saying a word. When the Crow Clone was attacked by a sneak attack, it only disabled one person before dissipating due to exhaustion of energy. Zhao Fan was not surprised by such a situation. He had arrested some people since yesterday, unless the person in charge of the Demon Temple was a fool. How could you not know this? And Zhao Fan can find them very accurately, which will naturally give them special treatment. It's only natural to want to get rid of him as soon as possible. However, their attack did not cause any alarm in the city. This gave Zhao Fan a bad feeling. He has not forgotten that the Demon Temple is doing something big. Just when Zhao Fan was about to go and see where the Crow Clone disappeared, his cell phone rang. Because he had to prepare to contact the city defenders, he did not put the phone into the storage ring this time. Meng Shang, Zhao Fan's heart moved, and then he answered the phone. Hello, Zhao Fan, there is another riot in the city. And there are many high-level superpowers who are killing our city defenders. Meng Shang said in a hurried tone, Zhao Fan, you must pay attention to safety, be careful. Meng Zhang's voice stopped abruptly before he finished speaking. Zhao Fan gently took the phone away from his ear and looked at the door. Bang, bang, bang. The sound of clapping and clapping outside the room came from far to near. A man walked into the room and sat directly on the sofa nearby. Good vigilance, classmate Zhao Fan, this is the first time we meet. My name is Ji Wuming. Zhao Fan looked at the man who suddenly appeared. He had a clean-shaven head and a pair of gold-rimmed glasses, giving him the impression of a gentle scum. Ji Wuming, Zhao Fan put away his phone, his eyes kept staring at Ji Wuming, and his fingers moved slightly. Ha ha, don't get excited. Classmate Zhao Fan, don't get me wrong. I'm here this time, I just want to invite you to visit our demon temple. Ji Wuming was very keen, and after noticing that Zhao Fan seemed to be ready to take action, he waved his hand and said directly. After all, after our investigation, 
classmate Zhao Fan, you gave us a big surprise. Ji Wuming straightened up from the sofa and leaned forward slightly, looking at Zhao Fan with excitement and said. Classmate Zhao Fan was able to reach gold level strength from a newly awakened person in less than a month. It's okay if you are one of those geniuses with S level or above abilities. After all, they will be favored by all the resources of the Dragon Kingdom. It is normal for them to improve faster. But classmate Zhao Fan, you are just an E-level psychic, but you actually used a clone trick today. Tisk, 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 this makes us particularly curious. Zhao Fan frowned. The way Ji Wuming looked at him was too aggressive. Apparently the people who attacked his clone before were also people from the Demon Temple. Presumably they wanted to test the strength of his clone. Demon Temple, Ji Wuming. It seems that your status in the Demon Temple is not low. Zhao Fan directly interrupted Ji Wuming's words and spoke. Ji Wuming didn't care, but shrugged and said with a smile. Ha ha ha, it seems that classmate Zhao Fan wants to know about the Demon Temple through me. Classmate Zhao Fan, don't waste any effort. Your illusion attack is useless to me. We have spent a lot of effort on your information. Ji Wuming looked at Zhao Fan and said without caring. I know that your pupil technique can use illusions to control others, and even has the ability of hypnosis, but these abilities are of no use to me. There was a hint of amusement in Ji Wuming's eyes behind his gold-rimmed glasses. He wanted to know what kind of demeanor a genius like Zhao Fan, who relied on illusions, would show after losing his illusion ability. Really, you think you're immune to my genjutsu? For the first time, Zhao Fan directly said the word genjutsu. At this time, the expression on Ji Wuming's face remained unchanged, but the playfulness in his eyes disappeared, because Zhao Fan's voice sounded next to him. Then he returned to his previous appearance and looked sideways. He saw another Zhao Fan sitting directly next to him, even putting an arm directly on his body and looking at him. Ji Wuming, I have to say that your illusion is well done. It is no different from the previous room. Zhao Fan crossed his legs and said to Ji Wuming with the same attitude as Ji Wuming just now. Ha ha ha, classmate Zhao Fan is very clever. I think this is not an ordinary clone power. Ji Wuming couldn't help but chuckled as he looked at Zhao Fan who had appeared unexpectedly. He shook his head slightly and said. It seems that we still don't know you well enough. Now that we can tell that this is an illusion, what are you going to do? After all, my mission is to restrict you from causing trouble to the operations of our demon temple. Ji Wuming was not at all flustered by Zhao Fan's discovery that this was an illusion. Of course, classmate Zhao Fan, why don't you join our demon temple? Our demon temple is not just about demonization. Ji Wuming looked directly at Zhao Fan beside him and said, the demon temple would naturally welcome a genius with superpowers like Zhao Fan. You may know some information about the Demon Temple, but those are all misunderstandings. Those people did it deliberately to vilify us. Our Demon Temple can also directly give people power. No need to practice. No need for resources. You can have it if you want to become stronger. You only need to do a little trivial thing for the Demon Temple, and you can get all this. Ji Wuming stretched out his hand and made a few gestures, his tone was very firm, with a hint of bewitchment. I want to arouse Zhao Fan's curiosity in this way. After all, many people like to get something for nothing. Their demon temple often attracts such people to join. Of course, this is all done in secret. Hum, sounds good. Zhao Fan nodded in agreement. These words immediately made Ji Wuming's eyes light up. Just when he was about to speak and continue to draw the pie for Zhao Fan. Zhao Fan looked at Ji Wuming with a smile. Sharingan changed quickly and spoke slowly. However, I still want to know what the big move of your demon temple is. As soon as the words, big move, came out, the expression on Ji Wuming's face finally changed. At the same time, the changes in the patterns in Zhao Fan's eyes also made him feel a little nervous. Classmate Zhao Fan, it seems that I still look down on you, but with your current strength, it is not good to know too much. Ji Wuming seemed to have no intention of continuing the conversation with Zhao Fan, and directly extended his hand to Zhao Fan. Now, it's better to come with me. For a moment, the entire room quickly twisted into countless ropes, tightly binding the two Zhao Fans. Do you really think you can ignore my genjutsu? Just when Ji Wuming thought he had Zhao Fan under control, the restrained Zhao Fan still looked at him and said. 
Ji Wuming suddenly felt a chill on his back, and then saw the surrounding environment changing rapidly. A scarlet blood moon was in the sky, and he was tightly bound to the cross. This is, Ji Wuming's pupils shrank, and then he felt the pain of a thousand cuts piercing his heart. Um, at this time, Zhao Fan frowned, and then saw Ji Wuming, who was originally in the Sukuyomi space, disappear. Then he returned to reality. You can also hear the sound of explosions in the distance. It's not the real body. Or is it some kind of special ability? Zhao Fan frowned. He had just realized that he was in an illusion. The intensity was so high that it could almost be fake. But it still didn't affect him under his eyes. When he saw Ji Wuming, Zhao Fan did use some ordinary genjutsu to control him, but they were blocked by Ji Wuming's mental power. Through the dialogue, Zhao Fan succeeded in giving Ji Wuming a slight flaw and directly gave him a Sukuyomi. Although Ji Wuming disappeared, Zhao Fan still saw some information. With a whoosh, Zhao Fan flew directly out of the room window. He was now at the diamond level and could fly for a short time. He wanted to confirm. If this was true, the impact would be huge. I hope it's not too late. Brother Su, be careful. Shi Lei shouted, energy surged rapidly, and an earth wall suddenly appeared behind Su Yan. There was a supernatural being with red eyes who wanted to sneak attack Su Yan. There were more than a dozen red-eyed superpowers around them attacking them. At this time, Su Yan also kept throwing fireballs to repel the enemy and moved towards Shi Lei. Alei, how come these people appear in the city? They all look like crazy. And the city defenders haven't seen them yet. Su Yan looked at more and more red-eyed superpowers around her, and they all crowded around them crazily. Su Yan became more and more anxious. There were more and more of these people, and they couldn't hold on for long with their strength just after joining Bayan. If it weren't for the low strength of these red-eyed superpower users, their superpower levels would also be extremely low. Otherwise, they would have been dispersed by the crowd. Moreover, these red-eyed superpowers seemed to be staring at the three of them and attacking. Su Yan saw several ordinary people not paying attention to them after being seen by these red-eyed superpowers. Xiao Fei, please cooperate with me and break out first, and then think of a solution. Su Yan said to the two people around her without looking back. Okay brother Su. The person called Xiao Fei also nodded. He also knew that the situation was urgent. He waved his hand to summon a whirlwind, which flew out directly with the fireball in Su Yan's hand. The wind helped the fire, and the flames spread quickly, burning the dozen or so red-eyed superpowers around them until they screamed. For a time, the offensive against Su Yan and the others slowed down. Now, run! Seeing this, Su Yan shouted loudly, and the three of them quickly ran towards the college. As he started to move, Su Yan continued to blow away the red-eyed superpowers blocking the road with flames. Shi Lei, on the other hand, used his superpowers to create obstacles for the red-eyed superpowers who were chasing them. Xiao Fei directly added a movement speed buff to the three of them. As they ran, these red-eyed superpowers also started running behind them, as if they had spotted them. No, our physical strength cannot support us if we keep running like this. After running for a long distance, Su Yan and others were a little tired at this time. I originally had a rest today and was going back to the academy to practice, but as soon as I went out I was attacked crazily. They haven't stopped until now, and their consumption has almost reached the limit. And they don't know why no one has come to save them until now. It seems that we still need to use it. Su Yan took out a brown-gray pill from the storage ring, which was the reward for the three of them on this mission. No, it should be said that it was a reward specially given to them by the mission party. And Mu said that this kind of elixir is made from a variety of spiritual plants. It can greatly increase your strength. Su Yan looked at the pill pill in her hand, with a flash of pain in her eyes. He planned to wait until silver was at its peak to take it. At that time, you can break through the gold level in one fell swoop. But now the three of them consume too much, and as freshmen, their current points are not enough for them to prepare too many supplies. Shi Lei and Xiao Fei also took out the same pills at this time. The three of them looked at each other and prepared to take the pills. Suddenly, a black shadow fell from the sky. Su Yan's eyes blurred, and her hand suddenly became empty. Look again, the pill has disappeared. Anger suddenly rose in his heart. 
Just when she was about to ask a question, Su Yan saw the figure clearly. Zhao Fan. After Su Yan saw clearly that the person coming was Zhao Fan, she had no time to think carefully about why Zhao Fan wanted to take away the pills. He looked at the nearly twenty red-eyed superpowers chasing after him. He hurriedly stretched out his hand to take the pill back and said, Zhao Fan, you came just in time. Help block and hold on for a minute while we absorb the pills and recover. However, his outstretched hand came up empty. You can't eat this stuff. Zhao Fan looked at the three pill pills in his hand and said with a frown. Then he looked at the red-eyed superpowers who were getting closer and closer. Plop, plop. Starting from the red-eyed superpower who was closest to Su Yan and the others, they fell directly to the ground. One after another, like dominoes. In just ten seconds, nearly twenty red-eyed superpowers were all lying on the ground unconscious. Quote dot 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 quote. This scene immediately made Su Yan and the others' eyes widen, and they were particularly shocked. These red-eyed superpowers that they were tired of dealing with actually fell down under Zhao Fan's look. For a moment, Su Yan and the others felt like their own powers were useless. How did you get this? Zhao Fan's voice interrupted the depressed mood of the three of them. Su Yan came back to her senses and looked at the three pills in Zhao Fan's hand, and answered directly. Zhao Fan, this is a task for us, and we will be rewarded by the task. Although it is still unclear why such changes occurred in the city, the current crisis is gone and Su Yan has relaxed. This is a pill made from a variety of spiritual plants. It can enhance your strength. Reward, enhanced strength. After hearing Su Yan's words, Zhao Fan said disdainfully. In Zhao Fan's field of vision, these three pills all have the same energy reaction as those of those with red-eyed powers. With a slight movement of his hand, the three pills were crushed directly. Zhao Fan, you, what are you doing? Don't want. Su Yan and the others were shocked when they saw this, and Xiao Fei looked at Zhao Fan with dissatisfaction. Squeak. At this time, the sound coming from Zhao Fan's hand once again attracted their attention, and they looked quickly. What the hell is this? The pupils of Su Yan and the others shrank suddenly. In Zhao Fan's hand, there were three lines of dark red energy, which were constantly twisting and twisting like living creatures trying to get into Zhao Fan's hand. But a thin layer of black flames enveloped them, causing the three energy sources to disappear as they rolled. As the three lines of energy disappeared, the black flames also dispersed with Zhao Fan's wave. The reason why these people are chasing you is because of this energy. If you eat it, you will be like these people. Now you know why this thing can't be eaten. Zhao Fan explained as he looked at Su Yan and the others who were frozen and had chills on their backs. It's a coincidence that he originally saw this information in Ji Wuming's memory. The Demon Temple has arranged people early on to give some, special, rewards to these students who complete tasks. Originally, Zhao Fan didn't know what the special reward was. When he saw the pills in the hands of Su Yan and the others, he was sure that these were the special rewards prepared by the Demon Temple. Give it directly to these students through mission rewards. The Demon Temple is very calculating. Zhao Fan sighed in his heart. There was nothing he could do about this kind of thing. The reason why he flew out just now was to understand the situation in the city and look for Meng Shang. As a result, we saw fighting breaking out in various parts of the city. The city defenders were basically held back by the Demon Temple in various ways. Zhao Fan didn't know whether he was saying that the city defenders were too useless, or that they were all too relaxed about the Demon Temple. Su Yan, do you have the Academy's special contact information? There is no signal in the city now. Zhao Fan asked Su Yan. After Ji Wuming disappeared, Zhao Fan wanted to tell Meng Shang some of the information he knew. As a result, there is no signal at all now. Zhao Fan thought about how Su Yan was also an A-level superpower. Fangbei College should give him a spiritual object for emergency contact, right? Ah, there are some. After Su Yan came back to her senses and heard this, she immediately took out a chip from the ring, and her spiritual power quickly poured into the chip. In an instant, the chip lit up. However, after lighting up for a while, Su Yan's face turned ugly. Then he looked up at Zhao Fan and said, Zhao Fan, my teacher didn't respond, maybe he's busy. Before Su Yan finished speaking, Zhao Fan had already understood. It was obvious that the Demon Temple was quite well prepared for this operation. 
Whether it is the city defenders or the college teachers, they are probably all restricted. Boom. Suddenly there was a loud noise in the sky. Zhao Fan and the four of them were immediately startled, and Zhao Fan immediately raised his head and looked up. Countless energies appeared in Zhao Fan's field of vision. A majestic and angry voice echoed through the sky. Ji Ju, are you, the demon temple, crazy? Ha ha, city lord Bai, we are not crazy, we are just for a better tomorrow for mankind. Then a calm voice responded. Boom, there was another loud noise. Zhao Fan already knew that the loud noise should be caused by the fight between the city lord and the Jiju. I want to sacrifice a whole city of people. The demon temple is not worthy of being a human being. All superpowers above the gold level in the city. Don't hold back. Kill these enemies. A majestic and angry voice sounded again, and at the same time countless light green lights fell from the sky. Then Zhao Fan saw a man with a special energy reaction in the distance running away crazily with a green light, and behind him were two city defenders. Ha ha ha, you are not worthy of being a human. You are too weak to be a human. Our demon temple wants to surpass humans. City Lord Bai, don't bother. Since our demon temple dares to do this, we have nothing to fear. There were roars in the sky again, and then the voices disappeared. Oh, aren't there three people? Why is there one more person? At this time, a voice came from the direction of Su Yanlai. Zhao Fan looked away from the distance and looked at the person. I saw three muscular, two-meter tall strong men standing opposite, looking at the four of them with amusement. Glancing at the red-eyed superpower lying on the ground with some disdain, the strong man in the lead snorted and said. This kind of angry puppet is really useless. He can't do even this well. Then he looked at Su Yan took a mouthful of white fang and said. Student Su Yan, don't think about running away, just come with us. With that said, the three strong men walked directly to Zhao Fan and the others. The pressure of the gold level immediately made it difficult for Su Yan and the others to breathe, and their entire bodies became unable to move. Zhao Fan looked at these three people with a flash of surprise in his eyes. They don't know me. Zhao Fan didn't expect that there would be people in the demon temple who didn't know him. Wasn't he one of the names on the list? But looking at this posture, I am afraid that the demon temple has already planned to deal with Su Yan and the others. As soon as these three strong men approached, the eyes of Su Yan and the others were filled with panic. They didn't know what would happen if they fell into the hands of these strong men. At this time, Zhao Fan's figure flashed in front of the three strong men. Compared with their big guys, Zhao Fan was more than half a head shorter. Genius Seed Project Alas, this is getting more and more troublesome. Following Zhao Fan's sigh, a bloodstain suddenly appeared on the necks of the three strong men. Zhao Fan glanced at the Tang Dao in his hand with satisfaction. He found this from the city defender's treasury. I have to say that this Tang Dao made Zhao Fan feel very good. In addition, it was originally prepared for those with superpowers above the gold level. This Tang Dao has a very good conductive effect on the energy of superpowers. Moreover, the material itself is quite strong and sharp, which made Zhao Fan fall in love with it at first sight. Because he improved too quickly, the fighting method with a spear was no longer suitable for him. The emergence of Tang Dao just made up for Zhao Fan. Zhao Fan, your strength. The three strong men fell backwards like puppets with their strings cut off. Once again, I watched Zhao Fan kill the enemy in a very short time, and it was as easy as squeezing an ant to death. Su Yan and the others were shocked. The look in Su Yan's eyes when she looked at Zhao Fan became extremely complicated. Has it turned out that he has become so strong? Zhao Fan turned around and said to Su Yan calmly. You have also seen that you are also part of the Demon Temple's plan. What you can do now is to protect yourselves and spread the information about the pill as much as possible. Okay, I have something else to do, so I'll leave first. After Zhao Fan said hello directly, he disappeared in front of Su Yan and the others. After all, he didn't come here for Su Yan in the first place, he just happened to see them. Originally, Zhao Fan had the idea of developing his own team, but as a result, he improved too quickly and Su Yan could no longer keep up with his strength. In this case, Zhao Fan will not waste his energy on continuing to protect Su Yan and the others, and will deal with business first. Su, brother Su, your classmate is so strong. Watching Zhao Fan leave, Xiao Qi said softly. 
he was directly frightened by the strength shown by Zhao Fan just now, and did not dare to make a sound. Brother Su, did he fly over just now? Xiao Fei's words made Su Yan Shale remember how Zhao Fan appeared just now. Su Yan and the three of them swallowed in unison. Looking at each other, Zhao Fan's strength may have exceeded their imagination. However, Su Yan knew Zhao Fan's extraordinary qualities from the day she met him, and was mentally prepared for this, so he and Shi Lei quickly came to their senses. Well, let's get out of here quickly and think of a solution after we recover. Su Yan sighed and said. But a strong desire burst out in his heart, he wanted to become stronger. Buzz. Dark red energy suddenly appeared in the sky above F-City, slamming directly onto F-City like a big bull. As this change occurred, the demons who had been chased and beaten by the city defenders turned around and charged back towards the city defenders with a ferocious smile. The city defenders who had been pursuing them were not surprised but overjoyed when they saw this, and hurriedly faced them. But after fighting again, I found that the opponent's strength had also directly increased a lot. The city defenders who accidentally suffered a loss could only be chased and beaten by these monsters. On the roof of the building not far from the city gate, a vortex appeared out of thin air, and the next moment, Zhao Fan appeared on the roof. Looking at the changes in the sky, Zhao Fan rubbed his temples. Still not caught up, he originally wanted to contact Meng Shang directly, but the signal was lost. In this case, he had no choice but to search. The appearance of the dark red energy barriers means that the plan for the demon temple has officially begun. Zhao Fan looked towards the city gate, where a familiar figure was fighting. Chu Jun, you demon temple is really crazy. Are you crazy too? Meng Shang stood in midair, looking at the enemy in front of him angrily. There were shields, swords and some earth and rocks beside him, and car wreckage was floating. Meng Shang waved his hand, and a large stone was thrown directly at the opponent. He he he, Captain Meng is really irritable. The enemy standing opposite Meng Shang is a young man with a pretty face. Faced with Meng Zhang's attack, Mr. Chu just smiled and stretched out his hand to swat the stone, and the stone was immediately swatted away. At the same time, a black shadow flashed past him from behind, and only a, dang, sound was heard. A large shield appeared in front of Meng Shang, and a tail thorn was nailed to it, with a purple luster on the tail thorn. A drop of cold sweat broke out on Meng Zhang's forehead. He spent a lot of energy running back and forth because of yesterday's riot. Although his mental strength has been restored, he is still mentally exhausted. Captain Meng, it seems that time has made you slack. Chu Jun looked at Meng Shang with a smile, and at the same time retracted the tail thorn from the shield. At this time, Meng Shang saw clearly that this tail thorn actually grew on Chu Jun's body. Did you see it? Captain Meng, this is my change. Chu Jun proudly spread his hands and looked at Meng Shang with indifference in his eyes. Chu Jun, you betrayed us, you betrayed the human race. Are you worthy of your parents? Meng Shang looked at Chu Jun in front of him with anger and pain in his eyes. Betray, Chu Jun suddenly laughed, as if hearing the word betrayal was so funny. Captain Meng, you actually have the nerve to mention my parents. As he said that, Chu Jun's expression suddenly turned sinister and he shouted sharply at Meng Shang. How did my parents die? It has nothing to do with monsters. It has nothing to do with the demon temple. They were forced to death by you. Chu Jun looked at Meng Shang who was silent and snorted coldly. Captain Meng, when those people become rotten, someone will always come out to clean them up. Just because you can't do it, doesn't mean others can't do it. After hearing Chu Jun's words, Meng Shang shook his head. After feeling his energy slightly restored, he looked directly at Chu Jun. Chu Jun, no matter what, this is not the reason for you to do evil. Look at what the demon temple has done. Meng Shang looked at the city defenders who were still fighting hard around him, with a flash of sadness on his face. These are all his soldiers. Then, Meng Shang took a deep breath and spoke firmly to Mr. Chu. Just give up. I will definitely stop you. Chu Jun sneered. Captain Meng, are you stopping me? You're not dreaming, are you? My mission is to hold you back and prevent you from going to support me. If you cooperate with me obediently, we can chat for a while. After all, it's not you who has a grudge against me, and you still took good care of me back then. I'm willing to give you this face, and we won't do anything if you can. 
Chu Jun shrugged his shoulders and said casually. If Captain Meng wants to take action, then I will be happy to accompany him. Roar. A roar came from the east side, and Chu Jun nodded indifferently, with a smile on his face. Hey, it seems it was successful. Feeling the strong energy reaction on the east side, Meng Zhang's expression suddenly changed. Chu Jun, what do you want from the demon temple? With that said, Meng Shang wanted to fly over to stop him, but was directly blocked by Chu Jun. Captain Meng, don't leave in a hurry, you have to participate in this scene. Ho, ho. As soon as Chu Jun finished speaking, the ground beneath their feet suddenly shattered, revealing a big hole. Then countless monsters with red eyes emerged from inside. Meng Zhang's face suddenly turned pale when he saw such a large number of monsters appearing. He knew that if so many monsters entered the city, the whole city would be completely destroyed. Moreover, the defensive barriers have not been deployed yet, so I am afraid that the situation there is also in danger. Meng Shang immediately clapped his hands, and all the surrounding solid objects quickly formed a defense to cover the cave. Captain Meng, do you think I don't exist? Chu Jun waved his hand, and the invisible energy immediately scattered the items that Meng Shang had gathered. Chu Jun, do you know the consequences of doing this? A whole city of people. Meng Shang shouted to Mr. Chu with bloodshot eyes. If you can take me one step further, what can it do with a city of people? Chu Jun spread his arms and stood above the cave where monsters were still pouring out, like an executor who came to destroy the world. Under this situation, Meng Shang kept taking action to prevent the group of monsters from scattering. But they were all blocked by Chu Jun. However, when he saw that these monsters were all silver-level monsters, Meng Shang felt slightly relieved. Fortunately, no gold-level monsters appeared. The appearance of countless red-eyed monsters immediately broke the battle between other nearby city defenders and the monsters. Get out of the way. Be careful of monsters. A squadron leader of the city defenders shouted loudly, and at the same time, the pressure of the golden level pressed against the monster beasts rushing towards them. However, facing the pressure of the gold level red-eyed monsters, it was as if they didn't feel anything. They only delayed slightly and rushed towards the city defenders even more fiercely. For a time, the city defenders faced attacks from dozens of monsters. However, the demons who were originally fighting the city defenders retreated directly and transformed into various monster states. The surrounding monsters passed by them without attacking them. Meng Shang looked at this scene with pain in his heart. He glared at Chu Jun, his lips moved slightly, but he didn't say anything more. It's just that the attack on Chu Jun is more fierce. Captain Meng, you can't stop the demon temple, and you can't stop me. Chu Jun also seriously blocked Meng Zhang's attack, and at the same time continued to use words to stimulate Meng Shang. Give up. These people are wasting their lives, they might as well. Before he finished speaking, Chu Jun's originally indifferent expression suddenly changed, and even his original defense showed a flaw. Naturally, Meng Shang would not let go of this opportunity. His eyes flashed, and the sword beside him flashed past quickly. With a pop, he successfully cut a wound on Chu Jun's shoulder. The tail spike behind Chu Jun swayed rapidly, forcing Meng Shang back and looking down with an angry look. Captain Meng, I didn't expect there to be such a powerful person in F-City. Chu Jun sneered, with a gloomy look in his eyes, not caring about the wound on his shoulder. It was as if he wasn't injured. A flash of disappointment flashed in Meng Zhang's eyes. His attack speed was too slow just now, allowing Chu Jun to react, so that the knife originally aimed at his neck could only fall on his shoulder. Looking at Chu Jun who no longer had any flaws, Meng Shang also looked down. Could it be that a genius student from Fengbei College has come out? Isn't this nonsense? With such a number of monsters, ordinary gold-level people can only protect themselves. Meng Shang was thinking anxiously, planning to keep this genius if he had the chance. However, when he saw the scene below, Meng Shang was stunned. There is not one person below, but three. One has slightly long hair that turns into short hair at the end, a light gray short-sleeved shirt with a zipper on the stand-up collar, and a pair of dark blue wristbands on his arms. The second one looks somewhat similar to the first one, but he wears a black robe with red clouds, short-sleeved black clothes underneath, and dark purple nail polish on his fingers. The third man had short hair and was wearing a dark blue robe and brown gloves. 
half of his face was covered in scars as if he had been severely injured. The three of them were just in the direction where the monsters were going to disperse, and the monsters facing them were like moths flying into the flame. Any monster that comes close to them will be killed by them with every move. During this period, some monsters tried to get past them and rush into the city, but they fainted directly to the ground. Rather than saying that these three people were standing in front of the monster, it would be better to say that these three people were like beasts entering the flock, constantly fighting against the red-eyed monster. This, Meng Shang was very confused. When did these three people come to F-City? As the captain of the city defenders, he didn't know anything about these three people. However, the appearance of these three people reassured Meng Shang, so that he would not have to worry too much about the appearance of monsters. As for other places in the city, he couldn't care about it now, so Meng Shang looked directly at Lord Chu more carefully. Chu Jun naturally knew that Meng Shang was afraid that he would sneak attack the three people who suddenly appeared, so he directly spread his hands. The wound on the shoulder stopped bleeding and began to recover. Captain Meng, don't be nervous, I won't attack them sneakily. Chu Jun looked like he didn't care at all about the monster beasts dying below, which made Meng Shang even more cautious. Chu Jun, I will never let you have the opportunity to attack them. Meng Shang naturally did not believe Chu Jun's words and calmly restored his mental power. However, the energy fluctuations coming from below made his expression change. He actually forgot that there were many people from the demon temple below. Because of the monsters, these people have been separated from the battle. And the monsters won't attack them, so wouldn't those three people be under siege? When Meng Shang thought of this, his energy surged rapidly, and he wanted to take action. He knew that Chu Jun would definitely stop him, so let the battle between them end as soon as possible. Sensing the energy fluctuations in Meng Zhang's body, Chu Jun's lips curled up slightly. He liked to see others eager to do something but unable to do it. Just like he used to be. The two started fighting again, causing roars. Below, Sasuke, Itachi, and Obito just glanced upward and continued to kill the monsters. Zhao Fan, who had been on the top of the building, was looking at the hole where monsters were pouring out with excitement. Energy points, these are all energy points. Zhao Fan wiped away the saliva that was about to drip out. He didn't expect that the demon temple could actually do something like this. So many demon beasts made Zhao Fan's eyes glow green. In the past few days in the demon forest, I had killed less than a hundred of them, but now I had killed a large number of them. Mine, it's all mine. Zhao Fan muttered something, even if the monsters appearing now are all silver level, the number like a tide of beasts is already very impressive. In just such a period of time, he has obtained more than 100,000 energy points. In fact, if he hadn't met Ji Wuming before, there would have been Chu Jun who fought with Meng Shang. Let Zhao Fan decide to play it safe and preserve his strength. Otherwise, he would just use Amaterasu to seal the entrance of the cave. So Zhao Fan separated three clones to kill the monsters with the least consumption to obtain energy points. How about a sneak attack? At this time, Zhao Fan was still not satisfied and turned his attention to Chu Jun again. Because the aftermath of the battle between Chu Jun and Meng Shang will still cause some monsters to die. Zhao Fan was naturally unwilling. Just when Zhao Fan was considering how to take action, changes also appeared in the monsters below. The three clones frowned at the same time, feeling the increased hostility and malice among these monsters. After casually slapping another eyeless monster to death, energy fluctuations suddenly burst out among the monsters. The three clones ducked and retreated, and put their fingers to their mouths in the same movement. Fire Style Great Dragon Fire Jutsu The highly compressed fire dragon was spit out by three clones. The surging flames of the three fire dragons instantly burned all the monsters in front of the clones to charcoal. After all, these monsters are all silver level. As Zhao Fan's shadow clone, now they also have gold level strength. With such a fire style, most of the monsters on the street in front of the three clones were directly killed. Even the monsters that originally emerged from the cave hesitated because of the high heat flames. With such hot fire attribute energy, these three are all fire attribute power users. A voice sounded above the street. I saw three clones. There were three monster beasts not far in front of each clone. Although these monster beasts have burned marks on their bodies, they are not seriously injured. 
One of the bears suddenly said, Sparrow, please stop talking nonsense. It turns out that they are all monsters turned into monsters. Okay, let's deal with it quickly. The frog head on the side also spoke. The level of perception is very high, the physical strength is also very high, and it has fire attributes. There was a demon with wings spread in the air looking at the three clones. At this time, his voice spread directly to the three streets. Obviously he is what the bear calls the sparrow. Kill them. Following his order, the nine demons directly attacked the three clones. At this time, although Meng Shang and Chu Jun were still fighting, they were also paying attention to the situation below. After seeing Zhao Fan's three clones directly clearing out a large area of monsters with one move, Meng Shang felt even more joyful in his heart. However, when he saw the demons from the demon temple directly bullying the smaller ones, three of them beating each other, Meng Shang became angry and increased his attack force on Chu Jun again. But Chu Jun was too familiar with his abilities. Originally, Chu Jun was one of his men. So much so that no matter how he attacked, Meng Shang could not achieve the desired result. Chu Jun glanced at Zhao Fan's three clones with some fun and said. A very good fire attribute attack, what a pity. Meng Shang didn't pay attention to Chu Jun's words. Because of the angle, he could see the eyes of one of the people below. The familiar scarlet eyes with tadpole-like patterns, this special pupil feature immediately reminded Meng Shang of Zhao Fan. Think again of the news that the accompanying city defenders gave him when Zhao Fan set out today. It was said that Zhao Fan actually had the power of a clone, which made Meng Shang more sure of his guess. After all, it's very strange for a person with the power of eye magic to be able to clone himself, but it's acceptable to have the ability to change. Meng Shang could only think like this at this time. It's just that the three people below all have gold level strength, which makes Meng Shang even more reluctant to have Zhao Fan appear here. He knew that if the Demon Temple knew that Zhao Fan was so good, it would use any means necessary to capture Zhao Fan. But in the current situation, there are still groups of monster beasts pouring out, although they stopped because of the fire attribute attack just now. After all, this is not a long-term solution. If Zhao Fan does not take action to kill these monsters, it will be a disaster for the entire city. The two opposing thoughts immediately made Meng Shang extremely conflicted. Time will not change because of this. Below, blue lightning appears on the three besieged clones. Tweet, tweet, tweet. The right hands of the three clones all erupted with dazzling thunder, just like the chirping of thousands of birds. This sound immediately attracted the attention of Meng Shang and Chu Jun, and in the blink of an eye, blue light flashed past. Then three clones appeared on the other side of the street giving people the illusion that they passed directly through the circle surrounded by three monsters. Are they trying to escape? Don't let them run away. The winged demon who had been observing in midair cursed and said that he didn't see anything clearly just now. I really don't like the demonization of big guys like you. You want speed but not speed. Apart from being strong, you have no advantages in being thick-skinned and thick-bodied. What about you? They are all running away. Why are you still standing there and doing what? Seeing the nine demons still standing there motionless, he suddenly foamed at the mouth in a hurry. If he hadn't demonized the sparrow, and he only had reconnaissance powers and didn't have much attack power, he would have been there long ago. But he didn't know that Meng Shang, who was higher up in the sky, had a smile on his face. Chu Jun's eyes were fixed on the three clones below. After a look of thought flashed in his eyes, Chu Jun suddenly looked surprised. Chu Jun shook his head slightly and said with a smile. Classmate Zhao Fan, I didn't expect you to have such ability. In addition to the illusion of hypnosis, it can also have clones, fire attributes, and thunder attributes. It really opened my eyes. Speaking of which, it has always been Mr. G's mission to let you join our demon temple. It seems that he has not completed it. Chu Jun's voice spread directly through his mental power. He no longer paid attention to the three clones below. After all, those monsters were dead. The winged demon also was stunned when he heard Chu Jun's words, and saw the heads of the nine demons he scolded fall directly to the ground. And their necks, even though they have gained a lot of defense after being transformed into demons, are now pierced. Ah, the winged demon was so frightened that his feathers fell off and he flew away quickly. He was afraid that he would be the next to die. Zhao Fan, don't come out. Just hide, just help me get rid of the monsters below. 
Meng Zhang's heart suddenly sank when he heard Chu Jun's words. He didn't expect that the Demon Temple already had information about Zhao Fan, and even knew about the clone's ability. This made Meng Shang regret it very much. It seems that he has really slacked off during this time. Looking at the current situation in the city, I am afraid that it has been infiltrated by the Demon Temple. Afraid that Zhao Fan would jump out directly, Meng Shang spoke quickly. Fortunately, he and Zhao Fan have a good mission deal. I think Zhao Fan will listen to him. However, just when Meng Shang was thinking this, Chu Jun continued. Classmate Zhao Fan, don't you want to know about your parents? As long as you join us, I can tell you everything I know. What Chu Jun said was not a lie. It could be said that he had known about Zhao Fan's existence for a long time. In other words, his parents were forced to die by some people because they found out some information about Zhao Fan's parents. Even if this information is only discovered by accident. When the Demon Temple originally paid attention to Zhao Fan, Chu Jun didn't take it seriously. After all, there were many people with the same name, and many ignorant people joined the Demon Temple every day. In other words, they are all desperate people. Until the news that Zhao Fan had been promoted to the gold level, the Demon Temple's attention to Zhao Fan suddenly increased a lot. Only then did Chu Jun know that this Zhao Fan was the Zhao Fan he knew. Of course, he didn't say these things to anyone else. When Meng Shang heard that Chu Jun actually talked about Zhao Fan's parents, he immediately knew that something was going to happen. Sure enough, Zhao Fan's voice rang from the roof of the building next to him. Do you know about my parents? On the roof, Zhao Fan no longer hid his figure, looked at Chu Jun and asked. Hearing Zhao Fan's voice, Chu Jun's eyes flashed. He didn't expect Zhao Fan to be so close to them. And he didn't notice it all the time. It was only after Zhao Fan made a sound that he realized there was someone on the roof. Seeing that Zhao Fan still showed his figure, Meng Shang suddenly felt uncomfortable. He had seen Zhao Fan's information before, and there was no other news except that his parents were missing. But for Chu Jun to say this, it is obvious that Zhao Fan's life experience is extraordinary. Thinking back to what happened to Chu Jun, Meng Zhang's face became increasingly ugly. However, Zhao Fan's next actions shocked Chu Jun and Meng Shang. Zhao Fan flew directly from the roof and came to Chu Jun. Sheringen stared at him closely and spoke word by word. Chu Jun, right, let me make it clear to you first. If you lie to me, you will die miserably, do you know that? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.